I love classics, so does she. We're both crazy about good TV. We have so, so much in common. common. We're crazy about Nick at Night. Welcome aboard Nick at Night. Please leave your TV in the full upright locked on position. Our flight time tonight, as always, is all night, and we expect a smooth flight of classic TV with only the usual turbulence. Feel free to move about the room and please help yourself to your beverage of choice. Now sit back and have a pleasant evening in TV land or wherever your final destination may be. We know you have a choice in TV viewing, and we hope that anytime your plans call for classic TV, you'll think of Nick at Night. Thank you. For some, it was love at first sight. For others, I don't like you. Share the magic as Very, Very Nick at Night brings you at all. Very, Very When We First Met. This Sunday, join three TV Land couples as they meet for the very first time. Hey, baby, how about a little kiss? And see the chemistry that makes it good TV. I didn't be a cute couple. It's Very, Very When We First Met. This Sunday at 9, 8 central on Very, Very Nick at Night. Brought to you by Diet Coke and Sprint. Loves me not. Don't talk to me, you tightwad. She loves me. Hello, darling. She loves me not. Oh. She loves me. She loves me not. Oh, honey, you big, wonderful husband. Hey, wait, wait. Lucy loves Ricky, and Nick at Night loves Lucy. Weeknights at 9, 8 central on the home of Classic TV. Do you want to give him something for Valentine's Day that he'll treasure forever? Then give him yourself. All wrapped up in glamorous color portraits from Glamour Shots High Fashion Photography. It's the hottest Valentine's gift idea in years. He'll love your beautiful portraits, and you'll have fun too. Your Glamour Shots photo session includes a complete makeover, hairstyling, wardrobe selections, 12 to 15 poses, and instant viewing of your color video proofs. Call today for an appointment. It's the perfect Valentine's gift. Glamour Shots! What else is so rare, so naturally brilliant, so exquisitely pure, that it can capture the light of your love? This year, give her the diamond that will take her breath away. Mmm, what's that fragrance you're wearing? statement without saying a word. Excuse me. I'm here to see Mr. McKenzie about the secretarial position. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if you'll just wait over here with the other contestants, we'll get to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Oh, uh, by the way, I hope you get the job. You're my favorite. <laughs> oh! Yes, ma'am, you must be here for the secretarial position if you'll just come over here. And, uh, uh, by the way, I hope you get the job. You're my favorite. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because you got great baganzas. <laughs> the way Louis kissing up to these women just because one of them is going to be the boss's secretary. Oh. Bad news, Louis. What? I got robbed. Huh? Oh, Tony. Huh? Tony, you okay? Yeah. No, it was nothing. I'm fine, really. 
How much they get? Close to everything, a hundred bucks. Nice going, dough brain. I just blew your biggest booking night in six months. Yeah, fill out this report and give it back to me, Momo. What are you getting so mad at me for? The guy could have blown my brains out. So could a good sneeze. Hey, what happened? What happened? Tony, what happened? Well, was it a big huh? guy? Were you scared? Yeah, it was not. It was a kid. It couldn't have been 20 years old. Yeah, it was the arm. He put his hand in his pocket, pointed it at me. It could have been a gun. I don't know. What was his name? <laughs> he didn't say. Sounds like a pro. <laughs> well, uh, did he say anything at all? Yeah, he said, give me your money or I'll kill you. <laughs> you mean he gave you an out? <laughs> Just instructed to tell you you can all leave. The position has been filled. Oh, you the boss's new secretary? <laughs> <laughs> See that, everybody? My favorite got it. All right, all right. All right, you heard the lady beat it, rejects. Come on, come on. Get out of here. This ain't no coffee clutch. Come on, hey, hey. Yakta Bay. Yakta Bay? She spoke Mark's language. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if you can Oh, it's this great vodka, a, a girl from back home. I know, goody goody. Oh, it's a Latka Gravas. Hi, hi. What'd she say, Latka? Uh, she said her name is Simka Dablets. Oh. Not the Simka Dablets. <laughs> No, certainly not. No, sir, no. Hey, uh, you speak English? English, yes. Hey, terrific. How long have you been in this country? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't mention it. <that. laughs> Ask her if she still needs a job. Doing what, Louie? Well, I, I think I might be able to find something around here that would interest her. You like to go with boss man, make big, shiny new quarter? <laughs> There's no romance left. Uh, Simka, would you like to sit down? Yes, sit down. What brought you to our country? Simka, la chavo se me dice que le va a sacar de bala, América. Oh, la chavo si a te que pate, y se pate porque te quede, te pate que te pate, te pate que te pate puna. Oh, I see. She said the reason she came to America is to, to because or in my country, the mountain people are all moving into the villages and there is much hatred. Why? Because no one likes the mountain people. Why? Because they are mountain people. <laughs> Hey, have you heard this one? Uh, how many mountain people do it take to milk the goat? <laughs> well, but I'm sure I don't know. Uh, five, <laughs> one to hold the bishes and four to raise the goat up and down. <laughs> Simka, I am going to show you America. Oh, goody, okay. goody. Yeah, come. I, I will teach you how to speak English so you can speak good like me. And we uh, will see everything and do everything, okay? So don't go away and I will be right back. I'm just going to get my coat. <laughs> don't go away now. Simka, you, you and Mark are getting along so well. I, I, I think he likes you. Oh, it's very bad. Oh, no, no, no. Like is good. No, you do not understand. I am a mountain person. Oh, yeah? Uh, do you hear the one about how many mountain people it takes? <laughs> Jim! I think she's heard it. 
Hey, but I thought you said you left your country because to get away from the mountain people. No, I, I, I left my country because to get away from the flatlanders who hate us. Oh. Please, please, don't tell us. No, no, okay. Okay, as they say in America, we're ready when you are. Ready when <laughs> you are. Bye. 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 where are you going to take her? Oh, I'm going to show her all the sights of New York City. I'm going to show her the lights of Broadway and the Statue of Liberty and the apartment of a lonely, lonely man. <laughs> Thanks, 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 thanks. Hey, 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 Tom, grab a glass, one more glass. Okay. Oh, yeah. How'd you dinner with Lackey and Simcoe go last night? Oh, it was terrific. Yeah? They are such a cute little couple. A cute little couple? Yeah. You think they'd like to be called a cute little couple? Lackey told me to call them that. <laughs> he said that if they ever get married, he's going to put that on their mailbox. <laughs> you know, I've never seen Lackey so happy. Oh, he runs around the garage. Singing, laughing, slapping people on the back. Pinching people on the rear end. Oh. <laughs> Takes me by surprise every time he does it. Oh, I'm starting to get used to it. <laughs> I'm starting to look forward to it. <laughs> hey, uh, Tony, you want to go in the back and play some air hockey? You know what is that? What is it? Hey, uh, can I play? Hey, Jim, it's a game for two guys, you know. Okay, I'll, uh, uh, I'll just watch. It makes me nervous when we play, you know? Okay, uh, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> it throws my game off, like, even if you're in the same room, you know. Okay, uh, I'll just stay here. <laughs> Fine. Just as long as I'm included. Yo! Yo, hi, Terry Walker! Sit down. <laughs> hey, how are you two getting along, huh? Very good. Aren't we a cute couple? <laughs> As bugs ears. Yes, you are. Oh, we have such a one day today. Uh, Laka shows me many things I never in my life think I'd see. Yeah? Well, where have you been? Well, we were to the Ottoman, we were to the subway, and we were to the car wash. The usual tourist traps, I see. <laughs> oh, and also we went to see a musical show called Grease. Oh, how'd you like it? Well, I was disappointed. Well, he thought it was going to be about mechanics. <laughs> uh, would you like a refreshment? Oh, yes, I'd like a smoothie, please. Isn't this something? I mean, here you come all the way to this country, and, and then you have a relationship with somebody from back home. I know. It's very nice, but I am, I'm afraid that it all must end when the truth comes out. <sighs> You mean Latka still doesn't know that you're a... Uh... A mountain. Yeah, mountain. <laughs> no, but I think I must tell him very soon. Yeah, the longer you wait, the worse it can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. You're saying that if she doesn't tell him she's a mountain person, and he finds out she's a mountain person, He's going to be upset. Not only because she's a mountain person, but because she didn't tell him she's a mountain person. <laughs> I have my moments. <laughs> Although it does cost me. <clears throat> I think I'll go home and sleep for a while. <laughs> So long, Jim. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Some good trust, Lanka. Okay, here you go. Is... Well, what have you all been talking about? Not me, I hope. Lanka, I have something to tell oh. you, which I don't know how I'm going to be telling you. Yeah, is it that you love me? No. You know those mountain people jokes you have been telling? Yeah. Well, I am a mountain person, and this is for my mother, this is for my father, this is for my grandfather. I hope you have a small family. <laughs> and this is for stepping on my heart and telling me you do not like me anymore because I am a mountain person. I did not say I don't like you. 
You are ashamed to be with me now. That is not true. Then look at me, Latka, and tell me nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Look at me, Latka. It's hard to do this when you keep moving. So long, Nadka. Wait, wait, don't go. <laughs> do you love Lucy, Ricky, and the Mertzes? Well, now Nick at Night is bringing you the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. These 13 seldom seen I Love Lucy specials can now be seen here on the home of Classic TV. So if you love Lucy, watch the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, Saturdays on Nick at Night. For a night like tonight, I like to go all out. You know, wear a lipstick color that's a little more dramatic. But every time I tried one, I felt like, here come Julie's lips. Clarion lip color. That's why I turned to Clarion. Their computer helped me pick all these wonderful, rich colors. That look wonderful on me. Clarion helps you choose only the colors that are right for you. So you'll be looking great and knowing it. Look out. Here comes Julie. Some guys are born romantics. He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> but for the rest of us, there's Kay Jewelers. For over 80 years, we've traveled the world hand-selecting only the best for you. Like Kay's quarter-carat diamond ring and heart pendant in a cherry-finished jewelry box, all just $1.99. Here's looking at you, kid. Kay Jewelers, for a legendary romance like yours. Just for Valentine's Day, we're arranging our famous Hallmark Crown Chocolatier chocolates into a beautiful collection of heart-shaped packages. Like our tempting caramels and creams in a pink lame heart. Or this delicious 12-ounce assortment in a stylish navy pinstripe heart. And so many more, including a fresh little double heart for just $2.99. Call 1-800-HALLMARK for the store nearest you and find whatever your heart desires this Valentine's Day at Hallmark. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. If you want to be my lover, you, you gotta have got to give. Taking is too easy. But that's the way it is. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. The girls want it. The guys want it. Uh -huh. Every night, all night, we want it. Gotta have it. What's the matter? I have the blues. <laughs> it don't work that way, Lockett. There's only three reasons to leave work early. Loss of limb, excessive bleeding, and heart attack. And heart attack is a judgment call I make. <laughs> Alex, Elaine, yeah, I have a problem. Oh, can I please talk to you? <gasps> you have come to the right people. Now sit you down. need to sit down. Is this where you... This where you want me to sit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's about Simka. No. Ever since we broke up, I am still terrible. I cannot eat, I cannot sleep. Mm, well, Latka, why don't you just go to Simka and, and ask her to forgive you? I mean, you still like her, don't you? Of course, but you see, in my country, there is nothing worse a person can do than to date a mountain girl. 
My mother would rather that I date a pig than a mountain girl. It would have been better if a pig would have walked into the garage and said, hello, Latka. Then I could at least call up my family and say, hello, yes, I'm dating a pig. They would not have been crazy about it, but at least they would have welcomed it into the family uh, after a while, especially after we had children. Um, Alex, uh, huh? you want to say anything to him? Say anything? You want me, to, want me to tell a guy how to live his life? Please, Alex. I knew this was going to happen. Look, Laka, why don't you just stop a minute and think about Simka? Hmm? Think about the week you just spent with her. Think about the places that you went to. Think about the way she laughs. Think about her, uh... Think about the way her hand feels in yours. Think about her... The way her hair smells. The nape of her neck. Think about how she looks at you when you're older. Her eyelash tickles. <laughs> she... Think about all that. Oh. If you can think about all that and still not get off your yachta bay and go over there and give her a big makeup kiss, then I wish you'd tell me right now because I'm beginning to think that I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're right, Alex. I'm going to tell her. Louis? Louis? What? Louis, I need to do some time off. What for? Because I'm in love. <laughs> Latka, if I left the garage every time my spokes needed grease, and I'd never get any work done. <laughs> get back to your cabs. Boy, damn it, now listen to me. This is the last time you're going to do anything like that. Alex, Alex, you know, you know, and, and, and they're yelling and screaming and fighting. I mean, let the lady handle this. Mm. Uh, Louis, um, if you don't let Latka off this afternoon, and I'm going to report you to the Board of Labor Relations. And I'm going to tell them every rotten thing that you've ever done in this garage. Ha! You report me to the Board of Labor Relations and I'll fire you. You fire me and I'll report you to the union. <laughs> you report me to the union? And I'll see to it that you get a rotten cab out of this garage every night. <laughs> you give me a rotten cab out of the garage every oh. night. And I'll report you to the Hack Bureau. <laughs> you report me to the Hack Bureau. And I'll kick you in the shin. <laughs> you kick me in the shin. And I'll kick you where you live. <laughs> Get out of here, like <laughs> you been? I, I thought maybe you changed your mind about meeting me. No, I'm late because I have a job now. Oh, a job? Uh, sit down. So, what do you do? Well, I'm working at the racetrack. They have a, a rake which goes around and cleans up after the horses, and they need people to sit on it to make it heavy. I'm the one in the middle. <laughs> I told you that America was the land of opportunity. It's good to see you again, Latka. It's good to see you too. I have good news for you. I have decided that I love you and I don't care that you are a mountain. I am willing to disgrace myself to be with you. <laughs> I called my family and told them I am dating a mountain girl. My mother, she disowned me. My grandpa put a curse on me. My brother said he never want to see me again. And my crazy uncle Dabi gave me his blessings. <laughs> so, I am all yours. 
You mountain people sure have a strange way of expressing great joy. I am sorry, Latka, but we cannot be dating again. No, no, you don't understand. I just said it's all right. No, no, you do not understand. We cannot see each other again. Well, sure, maybe not out in the street in broad daylight, but... <laughs> no, Latka. Why not? Because of your feelings, I will always be mountain to you. I will get over that. And because you will never believe I am as good as you. You are in the ballpark. <laughs> and because by now I have found somebody else. In fact, he's meeting me here tonight. Does he know about you? Yes, he does. And you know what? He doesn't care. Simka. Oh, John. Oh, uh, Latka Gravis, this is John Hannon. Uh, John is the man I was telling you about. This is the fellow you are dating? That's right. Mm. <laughs> he sure is gorgeous. <laughs> You two met on the wreck? <laughs> no, I'm a surgeon. Oh, a surgeon. It's no good. He's never home. You always want to be with him. He won't be there for you. I only you work know? two days a week. <laughs> it's no good. He, he's always home, always getting under foot. He's always in your way when you're cleaning house. No I have a housekeeper. And I spend most of my day during the week sailing. Do you have a sister? <laughs> Are you ready to go? In a sec. Well, I'm very sorry, Latka. So am I. Bye. Bye bye. Wait, wait, Simka. Wait, can I talk to you just for a minute? Just for a minute. I just want to tell you something. I. I hope that you are very happy, and I have learned my lesson. I think you are a wonderful girl, and I am proud to be the man whose life you have totally wrecked. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta close her up, Latka, but you can stay and have a drink if you like. Hey, Tommy. Yeah? Could, could you please play the song that me and Zinka used to love together? Yeah, which one was that, Latka? A7. You want to hear a joke? Sure, go ahead. How does a mountain, how does a mountain girl make love? Oh. I don't know. Like an angel. Tell me more, tell me more, did you get very far? Tell me more, tell me more, like does she have a car? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She swim by me, she got a crank in him. Sleep 
Search high and low. You'll never find a bear like Hallmark's Valentine Bear. He can wrap his arms around your special Valentine and make it even more special. He can make a message more moving. <coughs> Sorry. He can pull a heartstring or make a card twice as fun. In fact, for only $3.95 with any $10 Hallmark purchase, he'll make any Valentine more memorable, even if it's the same thing you gave last year. Hallmark has a way. Come, see what's growing in the garden. What's chopping? What's baking? What's popping? What's shaking? What's savory? What's saucy? What's squiggly? What's sweet? What's twirling and whirling? What's moving and eyeing? Come, see for yourself at the Olive Garden Italian Restaurant, where all the best of Italy is yours. I've had much more fun since I've been a blonde. I feel our trust is a great product. One of the things that I love best about it is it has a gel. It doesn't drip all over your face. Why be cheap with your hair? I mean, if you're going to save money, do it somewhere else. Stay tuned. There's another taxi coming up next. Don't go over 25 miles per hour. Here on Nick at Night. For some, it was love at first sight. For others, I don't like you. Share the magic as Very, Very Nick at Night brings you. At all. Very, Very When We First Met. This Sunday, join three TV Land couples as they meet for the very first time. Hey, baby, how about a kiss? And see the chemistry that makes it good TV. I didn't mean a cute couple. It's Very, Very When We First Met. This Sunday at 9, 8 central on Very, Very Nick at Night. Brought to you by Diet Coke and Sprint. My name is Rhoda Morgenstern. I was born in the Bronx, New York, in December 1941. I've always felt responsible for World War II. The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was food. I had a bad puberty. It lasted 17 years. I'm a high school graduate. I went to art school. My entrance exam was on a book of matches. I decided to move out of the house when I was 24. My mother still refers to this as the time I ran away from home. Eventually, I ran to Minneapolis, where it's cold, and I figured I'd keep better. Now I'm back in Manhattan. New York, this is your last chance. <laughs> Nick at Night loves Fred. You know me. Boy, do we know you. Classic comedy on the home of classic TV. I Love Lucy, weeknights at 9, 8 central. Right now at Red Lobster, it's luscious, sizzling, and scrumptious. It's lobster steak and shrimp. Imagine a juicy, tender lobster tail, together with a succulent charbroiled steak, plus tempting grilled shrimp and crispy fried shrimp, too. All your favorite tastes on one plate for a short time. So you better hurry in now. It's luscious, sizzling, and scrumptious. It's lobster steak and shrimp, and it's only at Red Lobster. Once there was a fella who just didn't have what it takes to win his valentine. Then he remembered Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes. They're specially made for Valentine's Day in our most lovable flavors. Now thanks to Baskin Robbins, he found the way to melt her heart. Our dentist gave us a reason to switch toothpaste. Baking soda. Two out of three dentists recommend baking soda for healthier teeth and gums. And only one major toothpaste has it. Arm & Hammer Dental Care, the baking soda toothpaste from the baking soda experts. Uh, this is Carlton, you know, your doorman? Yes, I recognize your slur. <laughs> There's a lady down here, says she's your sister, but you don't look anything like her. Don't remind me. I send her up. Okay, but I'm not responsible. <laughs> Rhoda? Yes. Rhoda, I'm over here! Oh, there you are! Rhoda! Rhoda. Oh, no, it's all right. What are you doing? No, it's not heavy. Oh, Brenda. Oh, look at this. What a... Oh, it's a great place. Oh, hey, 
Hey, why did you do all this? He made it sign. He did everything. I can't believe you're I really know. here. God, you that looks so gorgeous. <laughs> so tell me everything. I want to hear it all. What's going on with your life? Oh, you know, the same things. Mother problem, weight problem, date problem. That's terrific. You don't have a job problem. Hey, that's right. I got promoted at the bank. Now I'm a teller. Hey, there you go. That's yeah. terrific. That's terrific. And the best thing about being a bank teller is that your legs don't show. <laughs> Why do I get this feeling I'm looking in an old mirror? Oh. <laughs> Take it from one who went through it and survived. Things are gonna get better. Yeah? Oh, I promise. So, so tell me, what's been going on in your life? Oh, let's see where to start. Um, nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing nothing if I looked as thin as you doing it. Thanks, but this does not come easy. I mean, Brenda, one bite of a Sara Lee anything. I inflate like a rubber rat. <laughs> Sara Lee. <laughs> Are you familiar with their frozen cheesecake? <laughs> An old friend. <laughs> hey, come on, I'll show you around the rest of my place. It'll take our minds off food. <laughs> my kitchen. <laughs> Who is it? It's only me. Uh, just a minute. Are you ready for mom? Uh, sure. I mean, it should be interesting. I've never experienced ma and jet lag at the same time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Rhoda. <laughs> ah, so how come you're not wearing a bra? <laughs> I'm 33 years old. And All the more reason. <laughs> if you were 10, you wouldn't need one. <laughs> Brenda, I'm very worried about it. <laughs> it's not bad enough that you live in this neighborhood, but there's a drunk sleeping in your lobby. You ought to tell the doorman. That is the doorman. <laughs> well, anyway, it's nice to be with my two girls, Rhoda Faye and Brenda Faye. <laughs> You know, Ma, I always wondered, if you like the name Faye so much, why don't you just name one of us Faye? I didn't like it that much. <laughs> Listen, I know you have a lot of things to do, so you can see the family at your convenience. Well, 6.30 tomorrow. <laughs> Marchie, tomorrow? And listen, you don't have to give me an answer now. I mean, it's not that important. Okay. Just let me know in enough time to cancel the caterers. <laughs> Rhoda, I voted some guy for you. Yeah, who knows I'm here? Hello. Yes, it is. Who's this? Steven? I know a lot of Steven. Steven who? Steven Schlossberg? <laughs> I know a lot of Steven Schlossberg. <laughs> Which gives you some idea of the kind of life I've had. <laughs> Steven, where did you get my number? What do you mean she told you not to tell? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot go out with you. No. Uh, no, I don't care that you're 6'2". Um, Stephen, I can't go out with you unless you tell me exactly who it was that gave you this number. You'll like him. <laughs> He's got long hair. And this time, don't be so choosy. If I was as choosy as you, you'd only be three years old now. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. Listen, if you'd like to stay out till one or two showing my daughter a good time, it's okay. Yeah, but don't worry about getting into the office a little late. No, I'm sure my husband wouldn't dock you. <laughs> He'll be here at 7.30. Mm -hmm. You're lucky I didn't go to Acapulco on my vacation. By coming here, I saved you Stephen Schlossberg's airfare. <laughs> It's amazing. Do you realize you've been putting on makeup for an hour and you don't look like you have any makeup on? Yeah, that's the whole point. It's a natural look. <laughs> the more you put on, the more natural you look. <laughs> How do you know when to stop? Well, when you look like Alice Cooper, you went too far. <laughs> there. 
I feel I ought to sign this or something. <laughs> so, Greg, you sure you're going to be okay tonight? Sure, I babysit every Saturday night. Yeah? What happens when you have a date? So far, that problem hasn't come up. <laughs> Brenda, come on. Believe me, it's all going to work out. Now, listen, tell me. Where are you babysitting tonight? Maybe Stephen and I can uh, give you a lift. I don't need it. The father brings the kid over here. Oh. Hey, wait till you meet him. Really sexy. Yeah? He's the kind of guy, you know, under his, under his suit, there's this great chest with a medallion on it. <laughs> I've been telling him a lot about you. I think he'd go out with you. Thanks a lot for the offer. I appreciate it, Bryn. But I draw the line at married guys with medallions. Double uh, line for married with children. <laughs> hey, he's divorced. No line. <laughs> I think you'll like him. He's really nice. Good sense of humor, gentle, sensitive. Yeah, what does he do? He demolishes buildings. <laughs> he owns a wrecking company. Good for him. I guess he looks at New York as one big job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, kid. But I already have a date. Oh, at least, uh... Schlossberg is punctual. Steve? <laughs> ah, this is Donnie. He's for me. Hey, Donnie. Oh. Steve? No. Oh. Hey, don't run away from me. Now, you gotta face up to this, Donnie. You're not too old to need a babysitter. I don't need a babysitter. Oh, look. I'm going out tonight, and I want to have a great time. Now, if I'm worried about what you're doing every single minute, I won't be having a great time, will I? You understand? I don't need a babysitter. Oh, talk to him, will you? Uh, hey, Donnie, that's uh, Sesame Street. It's a really great show, isn't it? Hey, you don't have to talk down to him. <laughs> what do you think of Meet the Press, Don? <laughs> I gotta tell you something. You need a babysitter, and you got no choice. That's the way to talk to her. <laughs> Hello, Linda? <laughs> yeah, listen. I'm on my way over there now, and we're late, so why don't you meet me down in the street? That's silly. What could happen to you down in the street? Uh-huh. 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 Okay, I'll meet you in the lobby. A lobby, too? <laughs> Isn't he, uh... Yes, Brenda, he is. Uh, that is an exciting man. Yeah. That's a very exciting man there on the phone. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with him. <laughs> you want me to fix you up? Brenda, look, if I wanted to go out with him, I would just ask him myself. Wow. <laughs> Good choice of word. Okay, okay. okay. Hello. Hi. I'm uh, Brenda's sister, Rhoda. Just visiting here. I'm from Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. I could tell from your accent. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good ear there. I mean, uh, most people think I'm from St. Paul. <laughs> uh, you want to go out sometime? <laughs> Sure. Wow. Uh, the Knicks are back in town tomorrow. Do you want to go? Tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Tomorrow's perfect. I, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Tell Ma to cancel the caterers. Hey. <laughs> I'll pick you up at 7. Good. Okay, Donnie. I'll see you later. And listen, if you have to go, uh, be sure you lift up the seat. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Joe. Okay. Wow. You are fantastic. I am really going to learn a lot from you. Brenda, I mean, I, Rhoda Morgenstern, just asked this terrific guy out, and uh, he said, sure. Oh, I thank you, Ms. Magazine. I never could have done it without you. <laughs> Tasted Vitamita Benjamin. Put in time at the candy factory. You've even visited Ethel May's hometown. But you haven't seen all of I Love Lucy until you've watched the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. 13 rarely televised hour-long specials. These classics represent the very last time William Frawley, Vivian Vance, Desi Arnaz, and Lucille Ball would appear together as the Ricardos and the Mertzes. What do you say? Shut up!
and watch the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour every Saturday this summer at 11, 10 Central, only on Nick at Night. Valentine Michael W. Smith's Change Your World on RCA Records and get a free single of Hugs and Kisses only at Target. Imagine owning the world's greatest love songs by the greatest voices of our time. Once in a lifetime collection. Time Life Music presents the Ultimate Love Songs Collection. 36 beautiful songs by all our favorite artists. Have I told you lately that I love you? Rod Stewart. Celine Dion, Phil no Collins, Gloria Estefan. Get the Ultimate Love Songs Collection on two CDs for just $26.99. But wait, use your credit card and we'll take $10 off. That's right, you get two CDs for just $16.99. Then review other romantic collections. Satisfaction guaranteed. Ultimate Love Songs is not sold in stores. So remember, use your credit card and get two beautiful CDs for just $16.99. Call 1-800-818-6806 to order the Ultimate Love Songs Collection on two CDs for $16.99 plus shipping and handling when you use your credit card. Call now or order online at timelife.com. Cement your reliance with your favorite appliance. And watch your TV life ignite. You and your close friend, I had the greatest time. No, me too. I mean, I, I haven't felt this way. Yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, I, I guess we just saw We that. sure did. Yeah. And we haven't even... Uh... I know. <laughs> Look, since you asked me out first, I wanted to ask you this before you beat me to it. Yeah? How long are you going to be in town? Twelve more days, which gives us a lot of time to see each other, if you'd like to go out with me. You did it again. You beat me to it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll call you tomorrow and we'll, we'll set it up. Huh? Great, that's terrific. Good night. Got my kid. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Yeah, this is Rhoda Morgenstern. Now, Roy, the reason I'm not at work this morning is because I'm still in New York. I have this terrible cold. Yeah, and I'm all stopped up. Now, the doctor said if I fly with the change in cabin pressure, something very embarrassing could happen. <laughs> That's right, Roy. Never too sick to make a joke. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, oh, and thank you for your concern. But I don't really need it, because I just bought myself another week in New York. <laughs> I know. Wait till I tell Joe, oh, Brenda. that's great. Yeah, hey, listen, how do I sound? Was I nasal enough? Are you kidding? You sounded so real, I think I'm catching it. <laughs> It was the robe, kid. Really, I could never have sounded that sick without the feel of flannel. <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah, this is Carlton, your doorman. I got a short, red-headed woman down here. Says she's your mother. Sh should I send her out? It's Ma. What do you think? Send her up. It'll be nice to see you. Sure, nice for you. You're going out. <laughs> 
I guess you better send her up. I can't find her. Uh, never mind, she found us. Oh, Rhoda, I'm so glad I caught you before you left for the airport. You sounded so sad on the phone last night. I knew there had to be something wrong. You're not usually that sad when you say goodbye to me. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sad anymore because I'm staying another week in New York. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, maybe we can get together again. Uh -huh. Twice would be nice. <laughs> good luck. Sure, we'll do it. When? Oh, Ma, let's just leave it loose, huh? I mean, we'll set it up later, I promise. I'm, I'm kind of late right now. I'm sort of in a hurry. There's someone I gotta see. Bye. Uh, it's nice having her here. Who's she seeing? A friend. Not that guy with a funny name, is it? Joe? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> It's not good for her to see the same man night after night after night. What about you and Dan? It's not good. <laughs> she should be seeing other people. Oh, Ma. You complain when she's seeing one guy. You complain when she's seeing a lot of guys. You complain when she's not seeing any guys. There's just no pleasing you. Why are you talking to me like this? <laughs> like what? Like we were... Equal. <laughs> you don't listen to me the way you used to. It's these two weeks with Rhoda being here that's doing it, isn't it? Oh, Ma. I left the Bronx at dawn to come down and pay a visit. <laughs> Having to get past the derelicts in the subway, in the streets. <laughs> not to mention your doorman. <laughs> Ma, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna make me feel guilty anymore just because you came over here. No more. <laughs> All right. What if I said I'm leaving now because I have a daughter that I loved and sacrificed for all my life <laughs> who doesn't want to see her mother? <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> Hey! Uh, what the hell are you doing here? I am. I'm here. How about that? <laughs> oh, but why? I mean, why aren't you in Minneapolis? Oh. I said goodbye to you last night. Boy, did you ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, this morning, I called in sick. What did you give her? <laughs> oh, uh... uh... <laughs> This is uh, Rhoda, the nice lady I was telling you about. Uh, this is Nolan Arthur, my partner. He taught me everything I know. Nice to meet you. I didn't know who to thank. <laughs> so, uh, how long are you going to stay? Oh, another week, Joe. We can be together all week. Isn't that great? Well, not really. I'm going out of town tonight on a job. Oh, well, then I'll see you tomorrow. No, I'm going to be out of town till Friday. Friday? Now, wait. That, that, that only gives us one night before I have to leave. I can't help it. It's work. But I got out of my work to be with you. See, last night you said you wished I wasn't leaving, and now I'm not leaving. So, uh, couldn't you take off a couple of days? I mean, call your boss. Tell him you're sick. Who am I going to call? Me? <laughs> Come on, I can't do that. I got responsibilities. Oh, boy. Hm, I risked my job for a Friday. That's terrific. Hey, I'm sorry, terrific. Rhoda, but I'm not going to let you manipulate me into feeling guilty about working just because you're being possessive. Holy smoke. Manipulate? Guilty and possessive all in the same sentence? The grand slam! <laughs> Forget Friday. Hey! Yeah, I suddenly got homesick here. Where are you going? Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, come nice on. Nice manipulating you. Hey! What's wrong with you? So that's it. The end of an almost perfect vacation. Gee, I really feel bad about you leaving. I know, I can tell. What are you eating? I don't know. <laughs> That's how depressed I am. What is it? Some kind of pie. Ah, <laughs> oh, Brenda. Listen, we gotta face it. I mean, this, this trip was bound to come to an end sooner or later. I know, but what about Joe and you and, and you and me? Rhoda, you made me feel like a person for the first time. Oh, Brenda. I don't want to get you upset. I'm not upset. You got another fork for that? <laughs> hmm. 
You know what? What? This is beef pot pie. <laughs> I'm a mode. Brenda, listen, we could both sit here and eat until we're, we're a couple of uh, sumo wrestlers. Right? That, that's not, that's not gonna accomplish a thing. That's Ma to take me to the airport. Okay. 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 I don't have time for a long fight. I'll just make this short. What's the matter with you? That's it, huh? I'm parking the tollway zone. Well, I'll make it short, too, because I'm catching a plane. What's the matter with you? Look, um, I can see you guys want to chat, so I'll, I'll just leave. I, I can hear you, but I promise I won't listen. Joe, this isn't going to work. What isn't going to work? I don't know. Uh, Why not? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have time for this. Now, oh, look. I drove here across town. I went through red lights. I almost sideswiped the bus. Just to tell you, I really don't know you yet, but if you leave town, I don't know, I'm gonna go crazy. Wow. <laughs> okay, Joe, I'm gonna tell you where I'm at. At your office today. I was really hurt. When you said you couldn't see me, I figured it was because you didn't want to see me. Well, I'm tired of being hurt. I really don't like being hurt. Hey, and so, if you didn't need me, you wouldn't be hurt. If I didn't need you, I wouldn't be hurt. So in a funny way, I'm kind of glad we're hurting each other. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that scares me when I hear that, Joe. Because I care about you more than any other man I, I, I have ever cared about in, in my life. And I've, I'm afraid. I'm not getting enough of that back. Okay. Okay, I'll give you some of that back. You want to know how much I care? A minute ago, I looked out that window and I saw them towing away my car and I didn't say anything. That's how much I care. Wow! Rhoda, stay, please. Does that mean you're staying or your arm's tired? <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh. You like me, huh? <laughs> <gasps> okay, Joe. So now that we're straight, I mean, we are straight, aren't we? Yeah, we're straight. Okay, I got something to tell you. Yeah? I lied about them towing away my car. <laughs> Snacks. Happy Valentine's Day. Lunchables lunch combinations. Fresh meats and cheeses with crisp crackers. So attack a stack of Monterey Jack, pile on bologna, salami, or Colby, add chicken and wheat, and your lunch is complete. Lunch, 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 it's Lunchables. From Oscar Mayer.
For some, it was love at first sight. For others, I don't like you. Share the magic as Very Very Nick at Night brings you at all. Very Very When We First Met. This Sunday, join three TV Land couples as they meet for the very first time. Hey, baby, how about a little kiss? And see the chemistry that makes it good TV. I didn't be a cute couple. It's Very Very When We First Met. This Sunday at 9, 8 central on Very Very Nick at Night. Brought to you by Diet Coke and Sprint. Morning, 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 morning. How are you feeling, Tony? Uh, kind of eager, sir. Oh, he's a lucky devil. You wouldn't want to sit this one out, would you? Uh, no, thanks. It's my baby. Everything checks out, General. Good. Uh, Melissa asked me to give her a love. She wanted to come and see you off herself, but I don't break regulations, not even for my own daughter. No, sir, I understand. Tony, this is your week. Up in orbit today and marrying Melissa on Sunday. We'll throw you a bachelor party when you get back. Systems A OK. Ten seconds to firing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. Starter control. Fair for final stage. Keep going, what happened, baby. Final stage misfired. He won't be able to maintain orbit. Control the Stardust One. Control the Stardust One. Come in, Tony. Stardust One. Go. Get out of there. The final stage rocket is fired. We're going to have to bring you back. Stand by. This is General Stone. We have an emergency. Stardust One is coming down. Alert the Seventh Fleet. I must have gone further into orbit than I thought. <laughs> has sent out the welcome mat for I Love Lucy. Lucy! Yes, Lucy, Ricky, Ethel, and Fred have moved into the home of classic TV. It's sort of, sort of our destiny. I Love Lucy's back in prime time, back in its original uncut form. So come home to that irrepressible redhead whose plans are mislaunched, whose plots are ill-fated, and whose comedy is nothing but classic. It's I Love Lucy, weeknights at 9, 8 central. Lucy, welcome home to Nick at Night. If you're trying to lose a few pounds and butter is out, you're going to love this. Molly McButter. Now you can shake on the taste of butter for just four calories. Molly McButter. Molly McButter Natural Butter Flavor Sprinkles. 
The taste of real butter with only four calories per serving. A very wholesome, 100% natural four little calories. So indulge yourself. Molly McButter. You got Molly now. Do you want to give him something for Valentine's Day that he'll treasure forever? Then give him yourself. All wrapped up in glamorous color portraits from Glamour Shots High Fashion Photography. It's the hottest Valentine's gift idea in years. He'll love your beautiful portraits, and you'll have fun too. Your Glamour Shots photo session includes a complete makeover, hairstyling, wardrobe selections, 12 to 15 poses, and instant viewing of your color video proofs. Call today for an appointment. It's the perfect Valentine's gift. Glamour Shots. Sweeter than a red rose is this special arrangement for your sweetheart on Valentine's Day. Or this traditional tulip plant that's as bright as your love. Conroy's florist has hundreds of unique arrangements, like this lovely heart and rose bud face. There's nothing better to show your lasting love than fresh flowers from Conroy's. If you suffer from the late night TV blues, it's Nick at night for the deja views. All night, every night. Well, I've read about genies, but I never thought they really. <laughs> it's like something out of the Arabian Nights. Shekla Nesle Simoyi Dalire Khalifas. <laughs> you know, I suppose if I hadn't come along, you'd still be in this. Wait a minute. I rescued you. I rescued that. That, that means I get a free wish or something. Uh, genies do that, don't they? Well, of course they do. Yeah, uh, Genie, uh, I tell you what, I, I wish. I, I wish there was a big, beautiful P2V right up in the sky over my head right now. Dorom Ketoam Sarvari. I have to get a genie who doesn't speak English. <laughs> airplane airplane uh, airplane you know uh, it's up in the sky up there see uh, uh, <laughs> Seymour oh yes 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 all right uh, Seymour no 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 Ginny take, take it away Seymour yeah yeah that was a Seymour all right all right, look, forget about the airplane. I wish for a ship, Jeannie. Uh, uh, a boat. Uh, a boat uh, in the water, in the ocean. Uh, uh, like this. Um, uh, a ship. Ah, Kishti. Yes, yes, Kishti. <laughs> You're older than you look. No, no, it's it's not right, Jeannie. It's not right. Take it away. Hmm? Jeannie, I wish you could speak English. Yo, sure, hey, Parian. Somehow I must find a way to please thee, master. Forget it. You'll never be able to please me as long as you don't understand. You spoke English. That, that's all I had to do was say I wish. Thou may ask anything of thy slave, master. <laughs> that, that, that's very kind of you. I, I actually don't need anything at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. I need a helicopter. Helicopter? Uh, yes, a helicopter. It's uh, Well, it's like an airplane, and it's big, and it's, it's noisy, and, uh, well, it has blades on top. <laughs> Makes that kind of a noise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. That's a helicopter. That is a helicopter. Hey, hey. <laughs> Jeannie, you're far. I don't know how to thank you. I will teach thee, master. <laughs> what about you, Jeannie? But, I, but I, I've got to get my gear. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, boy, wait till I get you back to the base. Oh, I'll travel anywhere with thee, master. Sure, sure. I'll wait till General Stone sees you. <laughs> Genie, I'll never be able to explain you. Well, I... I'm setting you free. Oh, thou hast set me free, Master. Now I belong to thee. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I, I rescued you and you rescued me. We're even. I'm going home now and... You... You go wherever you go. Okay? Goodbye, Genie. Goodbye. Well, so are you. Right. 
I'm kind of wondering myself, where am I? Well, uh, I'm not quite sure. The storm blew us off course. Well, how'd you find it? Instinct, Captain. Instinct. <laughs> well, let's go get your gear. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to get out of here. What, did you lose something? No, 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 it's all right. <laughs> you say something? Hmm? Did you say anything? No. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm always fascinated by these local courtship customs. Hello, Dr. Bellows. Melissa, would you excuse us while your fiancé and I have a chat? I'll, uh, wait for you outside. I'll drive you home. Wonderful. <laughs> Doctor? Hmm. Well, uh, I've just checked over your report. You don't seem to have suffered any physical after effects. No, sir. No emotional after effects? Um, not exactly. But something. Oh, well, it was, it was nothing, really. Uh, I, I sort of had a hallucination. Did you? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I'd been floating around up there, and I suppose I was dizzy, and, and that in combination with the lack of oxygen and worry and, and wishful thinking. Uh-huh. She seemed very real to me at the time. Now, of course, I know now that it was just my subconscious. I knew I was off the beaten track and that I might never be found, and... When I saw that bottle on the beach, I... I hallucinated a genie out of it. A genie? Yes. Oh, uh, a girl genie. A girl genie? Yes. <laughs> what was this genie like? Oh, she was... Well, just your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill genie. Of course. Beautiful? Yes. Sir. Desirable? And helpful. Yes, yes. Captain, that's the classic fantasy. A beautiful girl on a desert island, a girl who would do anything for you. Do you know who that girl was? No, sir. I've never seen her before in my life. She was your mother. <laughs> my mother's in Salt Lake City, sir. I'm a psychiatrist. I know a mother when I see one. <laughs> now, um, I suggest you go home and get some rest. A lot of it. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I feel a lot better getting this off my chest. For while there, I was afraid I was cracking up. Were you? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Get me General Stone. Darling, how would you like me to fix dinner for you? Oh, that'd be one. Well, that's the least I can do for the conquering hero. <laughs> Some hero. I didn't even finish the mission. Ah. Uh. Well, that really wasn't your fault. Tony? Is there someone in your shower? No, of course not. I wouldn't be taking a shower. <laughs> Goodbye, Liz. Goodbye? Yes. Well, I, I didn't realize how tired I was. Oh, uh, well, you a little tired. All right, darling, of course I understand. Uh, I tell you what, after I get a little rest, I'll pick you up and we'll go to dinner. <laughs> Well, well, look, look who's here. I'm looking. Uh, oh, uh, M Melissa, this is this is Jeannie. Tony, <laughs> I've always prided myself on being tolerant, but uh, would you explain to me what is that girl doing here? Uh, well, th that's the explanation. Uh, she's not here. <laughs> Uh, well, well, she is here, but of course, uh, she's not a girl. Goodbye, Tony. No, 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 no. You, you, you don't understand. Oh, I'm afraid I do understand. Tony, I may be tolerant, but... But that's a girl! <laughs> it's a girl! What was that one doing here, Master? That one was my fiancé. Oh, 
Thou art kidding. No, just a minute, young lady. Melissa happens to be a the very... black-haired demon. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Look who's talking. <laughs> I can do much more for thee than she can. Now, now stop that, Ginny. We don't do that in America. <laughs> I mean, when you're engaged to General Stone's daughter, you don't do that in America. <laughs> you know. Yes? Uh, hello. Oh, hi, hi, Eddie. Oh, General Stone's on his way over here. Right, right, thanks. General Stone's on his way. General Stone's on his way. You've got to get out of here right now, and I mean it. Oh, I'm happy here with thee. Oh, but, Jeannie... Jeannie, I, I hate to do this, but I wish you to vanish. <laughs> where, where'd I go wrong? Thou hast set me free. That means that I am free to please thee, and I am going to please thee very much. Oh, no, 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 please. Uh, look, you, you don't understand Please. Uh, General Stone's going to be here any minute. Uh, I tell you, uh, uh, get back in your bottle, okay? Back in your bottle, huh? Oh, thou art so masterful. <laughs> now, now, Jeannie, now, Jeannie, I mean, stop that, I mean. Would you please cut that out? I, I don't think you understand how, how really important this is. This, well, this, I want you to get back in there. Now, 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 now come on, stop playing around. Please, uh, Jeannie, look. Oh, 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 uh, uh, yeah, yeah, look, uh, Jeannie, look, 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 look what I have. Isn't that pretty? Look, 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 look. look. Ooh. See? Oh, it's a black pearl. Yes, yes, it's yours, it's yours. Ooh. Here. There, I got you. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. I'm gonna let you go now, Janine. Thanks, thanks for everything. Have a nice trip. Sir. How are you doing, boy? How are you feeling? Oh, great, great, just great. Uh, Dr. Bellows told us about your uh, hallucination. Oh, uh, well, you didn't have to mention that, sir. It was nothing, really. It was just the heat of the excitement. Uh, it was nothing at all. I explained it all to him. Uh, sometimes these hallucinations recur, Captain. In all conscience, I can't qualify you for active duty again until we're certain that you're completely normal. Well, I am normal, absolutely normal. There's no girl in the bottle. Dr. Bellows and I both think... <laughs> Girl in there. She must have sneaked past her. Jeannie, Jeannie, are you all right? Now come on, speak to me. What's with this guy, Charlie? I told you there's a girl in there. She's in a bottle. Well, no wonder we didn't see it. You're sick. Yeah. Oh, hey, stop! Please stop! You can kill her! I'll, I, I'll, I'll buy the garbage from you. What? I'll buy the whole truck from you. Charge for garbage. Oh, we're in a high-class neighborhood. I mean we got a good grade of garbage. I'll give you ten dollars. Jeannie, Jeannie, speak to me, please! Jeannie! Jeannie! Oh! Oh, here she is. Here she is. Come along with us, Captain. We'll buy you all the garbage you want. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hi, I'm Jim McCann of 800 Flowers, and today we have two very special guests with us. So who made the card, guys? All the kids at 800 Flowers. Who's it for? Everyone in the whole wide world. Yuck. If you'd like to send someone a happy Valentine's wish, call 1-800-Flowers for a Cupid's Collection bouquet. That's one Cupid's Collection bouquet, guaranteed and delivered by February 14th. Hit it, guys. Happy Valentine's Day! Ooh, yuck. Anybody home? Morning, John. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's? That's for kids. Yeah, when I was young, I got lots of Valentine's. Really? Had boys lined up at my door. Guess the rain's keeping them all away, huh? Guess so. Gotta go. No matter what you want to say, Hallmark has a card that says it just right. Every once in a while, even good friends need to hear how special they are. It's nice to know there's a cop around when you need one. Isn't it curious that Lucy's trademark exclamation is, Wah! Why we watch with Nick at Night's Dr. Will Miller. Wah! is the cry of a baby. 
Lucy is completely in touch with her inner child. We watch because we unconsciously relate. Our own inner child longs to join Lucy when she dresses up, throws a pie, or gets shot from a cannon. Thank goodness our Mr. Mooney Within sets limits to keep us safe. Janie, you, you can come out now. Uh, she saved my life, you know. Well, uh, come on out, Janie. Yeah, the general's waiting. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Look, look. Uh, see? See? Now, now, come on. Yeah, now I see her. <laughs> she's really quite s smooth. Yeah, she's beautiful. It's very clear. You and this girl were inside of this bottle playing marbles. Yeah. In the hall of the hospital. Yes. Oh, please, oh, wait, not, sir. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you really believed me, didn't you? Huh? I, I really had you fooled. Oh, if you could see the expression on your faces. <laughs> what do you mean you had us fooled? I, well, I was putting you on. I, I, do you remember the time you, you uh, locked me in the freezing chamber and left me there, huh? <laughs> uh, oh, and, and, and do you remember the time you, you blew me out of the wind tunnel? Well, I, I was just getting back at them, sir. <laughs> you, you mean the whole thing was just a gag? Uh, what a gag? I, I really had you guys going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You made it seem remarkably real. Very interesting. Well, I, I certainly hope I didn't carry this too far, General. You really had me worried, Tony. I wouldn't want a son-in-law who went around seeing genies, would I? Oh, well, of course not, sir. Oh, you get some rest. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hi, how about you guys? I really believe in what you're saying. We thought we lost you. Well, you know better than to play practically jokes on me in the future. Thou deceived me. I should turn thee into a serpent with two heads. No, 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 don't do anything you're going to feel sorry for. I trusted thee. What manner of master art thou? Oh, gee, I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Honestly, I do. But, well, there's just no room for you in my life. I wish you'd take my shirt off, Jeannie. No, no, I mean, I wish you'd put on your own clothes. Thanks. You're just not Air Force, Jeannie. Ah! I have a career. I, I, I have a fiancé. That one. She's made of ice. She could never make thee happy. <laughs> For over 2,000 years, I've been in that bottle. And then... Then this hand released me. Oh, when I saw thy wise face, I cannot tell thee how much happiness thou hast brought to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ooh, thou must relax. Hey, wait, 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 now stop. Jenny, Jenny, put me down. <laughs> Jenny, stop. <laughs> now, is this not better? Uh, well, it beats going into orbit. <laughs> yeah, how'd you get in that crazy bottle anyway? Oh, a wicked and powerful gin put me in there because I would not marry him. You poor kid. It must have been wild in those days. Oh, it was. It would please thee to see it. Hey, this is wild. Uh, lady, uh, no, 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 no. Please, stop. Uh, we don't do this in Cocoa Beach. Hey, look, Jeannie, I... Oh. Jeannie, would you please, uh, uh, could you, lady, would you take this, um, would you stop this? Art thou not pleased, master? Yes. No. No, 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 look, they're about to lock me up now. Oh! Thou art the most stubborn and ungrateful master I've ever served. Hey, Jeannie. I <laughs> will. That's very, that's very, very kind of you. You can go. Disappear now. Jeannie, don't leave me. Well, don't leave them here. <laughs> Jeannie. 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 Oh, oh. Uh, look. I want us to part friends. Uh, uh, I tell you what. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go get your bottle and take it down to the beach. Or, or somewhere where you might be soon for me to take off. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. 
So that's what's been going on what, since I've been out of town, huh? I never saw him before in my life. Huh, but he's got a bottle waiting for you over at his place. I, you rotten homebreaker, you! No, 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 no. I, I, sir, I wasn't talking to your wife, sir. I was talking to your smoke. I, I thought it was a friend of mine. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Tony. <laughs> Uh, we were having a little barbecue, sir. Uh, uh, are you going to a costume ball? No, but he, well, I thought I might. <laughs> Shall we go inside? Uh, well, well, why don't we stay out here, sir? It's, it's so cool. Oh, it? Tony, let's go inside. Well, uh, you won't like it in there. Oh, why not? Well, uh, for one thing, I'm redecorating. Hey, Gretchen, you didn't tell me. But wait! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can explain everything. It's very simple. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> sit down, sit down. <sighs> Tony, uh, there are certain things that are expected of Melissa's husband. Yes, sir, I know. <laughs> Did you find that amusing? No. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You seem very nervous, Tom. Yes, I'm fine. Fine, just fine. I'm going to recommend a vacation for you. And that's an excellent idea, sir. Somewhere a, a long, long way away from here. That's a wonderful idea. I believe in long honeymoons. Yeah, so do I. So do I. I know that you've been under a terrible strain, darling. And I'm, I'm willing to make allowances up to a point. But... <laughs> You don't want me to make allowances? Oh, I do, I do. Get out of that dress. What? Uh, I, 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 I didn't mean you, Melissa. Mm, Tony, when you were up there, you didn't meet any unidentified flying objects, did you? Tony's just tired. After all, he has been through a lot. You'll never know, Melissa. I think you're going to feel so much better once we get married. Would you get out of here? What? Not you, not you, sir. All right, darling. I think it's time that you should go to bed. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> I'll come by and see you in the morning. Uh, well, I think it might be a better idea if I came by and see you. Naturally, I don't want to find that girl around here anymore. No, no, naturally. <laughs> Good night, Tony. Good night, Dad. In general. I'm going to see that everything is just fine, darling. Oh, just fine. 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 Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh Laugh, laugh, laugh. You're laughing. I'm dying. Go ahead, have a good time. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself because the party's over. Now, listen to me, young lady. I am a grown man, and I will not have someone taking over my life like this. Do you understand that? I won't. Mm, mm, mm. You can learn to speak Spanish through classic TV. Simply listen and repeat. Cada vez, cada semana se pone peor y peor de la cabeza. Yo me voy a ir de aquí, me voy a ir para otro lugar. Listen and repeat. Y te voy a coger el percuoso y te lo voy a poner aquí y lo voy a hacer. So easy, anyone can learn. Maybe the tentacles are the more extra. Listen to I Love Lucy and repeat. Maybe the tentacles are the more extra. Tonight on Nick at Night. Ay! It's an amazing thing. Hallmark is offering an empty little red box, an empty little cardboard box for Valentine's Day. And people are excited and they're buzzing about it. A little cardboard empty thing. Zero things are in there. No things, nothing. What a crazy world. Do we need further proof? Oh, forgot to tell you. The little red box comes connected to this cuddly bear. Three fifty with any $10 Hallmark purchase. But the box is empty. You have to fill it. Crazy world, crazy world. Now save up to $2 on your favorite ice cream. Buy two packs of Chips Ahoy or Oreo cookies and a half gallon of ice cream and save up to $2 on a second half gallon. See the ad for details in Sunday's paper. There's something about ice cream, cookies, and savings. Song Perfume by Prince Machabelli. Jeannie, what are you doing to me? 
I'm sorry, Jeannie. You have got to go. I, I, I want you to get on your magic carpet or however you travel. Uh, when I get up in the morning, I don't want to see you here. Do you understand that? that fragrance you're wearing. Make a statement without saying a word. Mmm, a little cheddar makes plain veggies taste better. But take the cheddar cheese away and you can just say... No way! Because cheddar cheese makes all the difference. Hooray! On all kinds of vegetables, cheese makes all the difference. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever, friendship never ends. If you want to be my lover, you gotta have got to give. Taking is too easy, but that's the way it is. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Years ago, when I switched from aspirin to Tylenol, I never thought I'd consider switching again. But today, I'm switching from Tylenol to Advil. You see, sometimes even two extra strength Tylenol didn't get rid of all my tough headache pain. But Advil is different. Two Advil get rid of more of my tough headache pain than two extra strength Tylenol. For me, Advil just works better. And it's gentler to my stomach than aspirin. I like that. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. Nick at Night's regularly scheduled programming will not be seen at this time, so that we may bring you the following special presentation.
Marie. Do you mind if I come in? I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, you're still in the thought. You haven't said five words since we left Cindy off to college. Well, I did two. I said six words. Cindy's not our little baby anymore. Oh, Mike, it's just so hard to accept. Cindy in college? I know, honey, but you've got to face that. Cindy is 18 years old. She's all grown up. All six of the kids are. Yeah. No more lunches to make, no yeah. carpools, no music lessons, no ballet classes. Oh, no little league, no Cub Scouts, no Brownies, no Girl Scouts, no Boy Scouts. I'm an unemployed mother. <laughs> well, you got to look on the bright side of it. Now we've got some time to ourselves. Yeah. What about that cruise we've always been threatening to take? Let's take it. We can start enjoying a brand new life. You're right. Sure I am. We can go away weekends whenever we like. Yeah. No more. Mom, can you help me with my algebra? <laughs> or can I get a lift to the bowling alley? <laughs> oh, Mike, it'll be wonderful. And our lives will be ours. It'll be great. Terrific. Oh, my. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Nick at Night movie will return in a moment. First word, uh, watch, okay, watch Lucy, watch, watch the Lucy, Lucy and Desi, okay, watch the Lucy and Desi, a wild, furious, hot, uh, heavy, watch the Lucy and Desi furious fight. Okay, watch the Lucy, the Lucy, Desi, whole round, uh, three hours, two hours, one hour, okay, watch, watch the Lucy, Desi comedy hour. Watch the Lucy, Desi comedy hour, Saturdays this summer at 11, 10 central, only on Nick at Night. Toasters? Down? Oh. Want to know any more? Ask Ace. That's what I do. Two automatic security timers are just $4.97, and Ace Professional Grade Duct Tape is just three thirty dollars a roll. Hey, Ace is the place for me. When I make up my mind, it stays made up, and I made up my mind to buy an Accord. Then I hear about the Stanza Challenge, go to a Nissan dealer, test drive a Stanza, and if you still buy an Accord, they give you $100. So I took a test drive. That doesn't make me indecisive. Does it? Anyway, I find out that the Nissan Stanza has more horsepower, more standard features, it costs less. It really is a great car at a great price. So I changed my mind. <gasps> so sue me. Take the Nissan Stanza Challenge now. We gotta make this ferry. Dad, the boat. They're not back here either. I just had them. We're gonna make it. This family's vacation could be in big trouble. But the traveler's checks they lost were American Express. And American Express can hand deliver a refund virtually anywhere. They'll bring them to the island. Make sure you take only American Express traveler's checks. Don't leave home without them. I better get my jacket or we'll never get to the concert. Oh, uh... Is it cold out? No. Okay. <laughs> All set. <laughs> What's so funny? You look like you're proposing. <laughs> funny you should mention that. You mean you really are proposing? You're really proposing? You're, you're to me? You're the only girl in the room. <sighs> well? Can I think about it? Sure. How long do you need? About three seconds. One, two, three, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want me to 
get it? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, come <laughs> on. Not that old. <laughs> Oh, it's Jan and Philip. Come on in, kids. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to drop over without calling. Oh, don't be silly. We weren't doing anything important. You don't consider reruns of Gilligan's Island important? My. <laughs> well, watch out. Go ahead. Mr. Brady. Uh, Philip. We've known each other for, what, two years? How many times have I asked you to call me Mike? <laughs> Why? Well, I, I'm a little old-fashioned, Mr. Brady. I still call teachers Mr. and Miss, and I've been a teacher myself for three years. Are you uncomfortable <laughs> calling me Mike? What? Yeah, well, yes, I am. <laughs> but how about Dad? Dad? I think I'd better sit down. <laughs> In accordance with tradition, I'm supposed to ask the father for his daughter's hand. <laughs> and you're asking, huh? Yes, sir, I'm asking. <laughs> well... Dad, it's not like Philip's the eighth guy I've brought in here this week. And now, honey, Dad, could we talk about this for just a minute? Oh, sure. Uh, I think I'll find another room. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Philip, there's coffee in the kitchen. Oh. I don't understand this. I thought you'd be thrilled. I thought you liked Philip. We do. We love Philip. You know that. Oh, well, then what's the problem? I'm on my own. Philip and I have known each other for a long time. You like him. I love him. Honey, it isn't that. It's just that... Well, Marsha... Marsha? What's Marsha got to do with me, with my wedding? Nothing, but it's... Jan, sweetheart, this is all happening so fast, you have to understand. You want me to get married after Marsha, just because she's the oldest? I can't believe it. Well, now, we didn't say that, Jan. That's always how it was with me and Marsha. Doesn't anything ever change? Well, all I hear all day long at school is how great Marsha is at this, or how wonderful Marsha did that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Now, sweetheart. All those awards staring me in the face was just too much. I'm tired of being in Marsha's shadow all the time. Now, Jan, you're not in anybody's shadow. Well, Marsha's three years older than you. I love Philip, and I want to marry him. Marsha's my sister, and I love her too, but... It's not my fault if she didn't get married first. Honey, that isn't what we meant to say. You caught us off guard. Sure, you have our permission. And our blessings. Yes, and our blessings. Thank you. Congratulations, sweetheart. <laughs> Can we talk about the wedding arrangements later? Sure. Sure. Come on out, Philip. It's all over. All over? Oh, no. I meant the discussion. Oh, <laughs> if you wanted her hand, you got it. <laughs> After the wedding, you get everything else. Oh, Dad. Tell the allergies, the overdrafts, and the flat tires. <laughs> Congratulations, Philip. <laughs> thanks, Mrs. Brady. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> thanks, Mr. Dad. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> now let's tell my folks. Great. I hope they'll be even happier. I don't think we handle that too well. No, oh, honey. Kids in love always have trouble with their parents. No. Remember that rainy night? It must have been 3 o'clock in the morning. We were in the car. Dad came out with a flashlight and caught us in the back seat. Do you remember? No, that wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> the Nick at Night movie will return in a moment. Dear Nexus, since I've used your products, the change in my hair is remarkable. At Nexus, we get letters every day. Because people who use Nexus love what it does for their hair. I noticed a difference the very first time I used it. And once, a product that really lives up to its promises. Nothing works better. It's worth the trip to the salon. I just had to say thanks. 
When you're looking for results, look for Nexus. It works the first time, and that's the beauty of it. Before I switched from Tylenol to Advil, I did my homework. I found that doctors have recommended Advil over 50 million times. I don't take just any medicine, but I do take Advil. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. As a fan of mail carriers everywhere, I urge you to give your Valentine these classic sweets chocolates from Hallmark. It's an exclusive collection of the finest chocolates. But the great part is, a few weeks after you give it, Hallmark mails your Valentine this second box of chocolates. All for just $3.95 with any Hallmark purchase at stores listed in your paper. So your Valentine gets a big surprise and the mailman gets a big smile. Eh, who knows? Maybe a hug. This Valentine's Day, go to Hallmark and give twice the love. When life seems dull, here's how to make things bright. Get plus TV pleasure from Nick at night. Nick at night. Mind if I sit down? Parlez-vous English? I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? Oh, well, if you're sorry, I'll just take my tray to another table. No, that's not what I meant. Sit down. Only for lunch. When I'm finished, that's it. I'm gone. <laughs> Do you pass me the salt, please? Thanks. How about the pepper? Thanks. Sugar? How about a napkin? Another napkin? How about your silverware, your credit cards, and your shoes? Got your attention, didn't I? Yes, you did. If I can venture an opinion, your body may be sitting here, but your mind is sitting in an entirely different restaurant. Do you have a problem? No. Sometimes you can solve a problem by confiding in a perfect stranger. Now, I may not be perfect, but I am a stranger. It's not really a problem. It's more of a family situation. Oh. Well, Cain and Abel started as a family situation. It's kind of personal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to intrude. You see, my younger sister Jan came home to tell my folks that she wants to marry Philip. Philip's a great guy. He's an assistant science professor at a junior college. Jan loves him. I love him. So do Greg, Peter, Bobby, and Cindy. Everybody loves Philip, but that's not the problem at all. You see, Jan believes that Mom and Dad think that since she's younger than me, that I should get married first, which really has no bearing on anything. Mom and Dad tried to convince her and said okay to Jan's marriage, but that still hasn't made it any easier. That's why it's a problem, and I'm in the middle, even though I'm the oldest. Except for Greg. Understand? This much. What you're telling me is that your parents feel the oldest daughter should get married first, and you're the oldest. Right. It's a little old-fashioned, but there's a simple solution. You get married first, then there's no problem with your sister, Jan. Hmm. No, but there's a problem with me. Jan's going to be married in a couple of months, and I'm not even going with anybody. So who am I going to marry? How about me? <laughs> what? Well, it's the least I could do to prevent a problem in your family. Be happy I sat here. You'll be marrying one of those two guys over there. I'm sorry, I make it a policy not to marry on the first date. We won't get married now. You see, you just accept the proposal now. We'll get married in a few weeks, before Jane. I don't even know your name. Interested, huh? It's progress. It's Wally Logan. Marsha Brady. For now. You don't know anything about me. Well, what do I have to know? You're beautiful, and you're bright, concerned about your family, sensitive to your sister's feelings. You're easy to talk to, got a good sense of humor, and you hardly eat anything at all. <laughs> you know what I think? I think I've been looking for you all my life. You know what I think? What? I think there's two guys in white coats looking for you. Bye-bye. There are 
11 Marshall Brady's in the phone book, and I had to send flowers to all of them. <laughs> the least you could do is meet me for lunch tomorrow. Wally. Wally. <laughs> Show, huh? No, I was afraid you would. Oh, did you get my flowers? Yes. Did you really send them to all those Marsha Brady's? No. <laughs> I asked the cashier here if she knew where you worked. I got your address from your company. It got you here, didn't it? Only to thank you for the flowers. I didn't want to embarrass you by having you wait around all day. <laughs> I would have, too. Your card said that you worked for the Tyler Toy Company. Are you a toy salesman? No, I'm a real salesman. <laughs> I just sell toys. I'll bet you've played with plenty of Tyler toys. Mm -hmm. How about Snoozy Susie? Snoozy Susie? That was my favorite doll. You pull a cord and it sang a chorus of lullabies mm -hmm. and it put itself to sleep. Mm -hmm. First one eye closed, <laughs> and then the other eye closed, and then it snored. Snoozy Susie does not snore. Mine did. It went... It's not supposed to. Malfunction. I'll get you a new one. <laughs> Let's not talk shop. Let's talk marriage. Now, I told my folks about you. Have you told your folks about me? No. Well, tell them. They wouldn't believe me. Well, tell them. And meet me back here at the end of the day. Well, I couldn't, even if I wanted to. I'm working late on some designs for a fashion show, Wally. <laughs> Lorraine, try on the other one. Is Marsha Brady here? I'm sorry. These are private rooms back here. Reginald Finsterwald, State Clothing Commission. <laughs> now, Marsha Brady. Uh, Marsha's over there. Thank you. Nikki. I'm sorry. Marsha? Wally, what are you doing? Reginald Finsterwald, State Clothing Commission. I'm here to inspect hemline standards. We have work to do. We all have got our jobs to do, lady. What can I do to make you go away? Go out with me Saturday night. That's blackmail. Well, it's either that or I close this place down. <laughs> Mr. Finsterwald. <laughs> Nick at Night. The Nick at Night movie will return in a moment. Do you want to give him something for Valentine's Day that he'll treasure forever? Then give him yourself. All wrapped up in glamorous color portraits from Glamour Shots High Fashion Photography. It's the hottest Valentine's gift idea in years. He'll love your beautiful portraits and you'll have fun too. Your Glamour Shots photo session includes a complete makeover, hairstyling, wardrobe selections, 12 to 15 poses, and instant viewing of your color video proofs. Call today for an appointment. It's the perfect Valentine's gift. Glamour Shots! There's a new kind of cowboy out there, and that's why McDonald's is grilling up a whole new kind of steak. McDonald's new grilled steak sandwich. And right now, it's a great McDonald's value you can't pass up. I might be pregnant. In three minutes, I'll know. Who is this? Clear blue, easy.
It's the easiest pregnancy test ever. Just one step and no messy test tubes. Clear blue easy. It's the easiest. I'm glad I took that job at the real estate office. It's helped me forget that Jan hasn't called for a while. She hasn't called for a week. Eight days, 11 hours, and four minutes. Well, all we did was mention Marsha. And Jan jumped to conclusions. I can't say I blame her. Jan comes over here with the biggest news of her life, and we blew it. Mm, you're right. We should have lit fireworks, and we fizzled. <laughs> you know what, honey? What? I think we should phone her and tell her that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jan. Dad, I'm sorry. What? I didn't even give you and Mom a chance to say anything. Oh, Mom, I know you both want what's good for me, and I behave like a jerk. Make that two jerks. That unanimous. <laughs> Honey, we couldn't be happier for you and Philip. We love you both. Forgive us, sweetheart. We were behaving like parents. I love you. Can I call Philip and have him come over? We have a few things we want to discuss with you. Invitations, guest lists, caterers. Call him, call him. The sooner the better. <laughs> Philip has passed. <laughs> Hi. Dad, this is Wally Logan. Hello, Wally. Hello, Mr. Brady. Nice to meet you. Wally, this is my mother. Hello, Mrs. Brady. Hi. Sorry to have dropped in without calling. <laughs> the last time I heard anybody say that, Jan told us she was getting married. <laughs> uh, I think I'd better sit down. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brady, you don't know me too well. We've never seen you before in our lives. You trust Marcia, don't you? Yes. And you've taught her to be careful about making important decisions? Yes. How long have you two known each other? Seven days. Seven wonderful days. Right. <laughs> it's quality, not quantity. Wait a second. If you have a second. Are you telling me that you met and decided to get married in seven days? Wonderful or not? Mom, you told me you knew you were in love with Dad in less than a week. But that was different. Well, I was older. I already had children. Surely you don't want us to have children first. <laughs> Just a little touch of humor. I really love him. I didn't think I would. But I do. So will you once you get to know him. We would like to get to know him. We sure would. <laughs> what about the future? Have you had any time to think about that? We both work. Wally has a great job as a representative for Tyler Toys. Mom, do you remember my snoozy Susie doll, the one that sang itself to sleep first? One eye closed mm. and then the other eye closed and it... Not now, honey. <laughs> Wally, what do your parents think? They think we're just as crazy as you do. <laughs> At least he comes from a good home. <laughs> we know that this is all very sudden. But Marsha and I are adults. We love each other and we want to get married. But we won't do it unless we have your consent. I think I better sit down. You are sitting down. <laughs> well? 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 Congratulations. <laughs> Now that's progress. <laughs> Philip was grading papers he wanted to finish and come over tomorrow. Hi, Marsha. Have I got news? Who's your friend? He's more than a friend, Jan. Apparently. Marsha, you and Jan, just we'll start from the beginning. The wedding is on. I know. Mine. What? Jan, Wally Logan. I'm marrying your sister. <laughs> Oh, Marcia, that's wonderful. Both of us getting married at the same time. The same day. Yeah. Wait a second. Nobody said anything about the same time or same day. Nobody said no. What?
Well, didn't, don't look at me. <laughs> Mr. Richards, congratulate me. Congratulations. <laughs> You've just sold your first house. <laughs> Better than that. Oh, two houses. <laughs> no, two daughters. You sold your two daughters? <laughs> Paging Dr. Brady, Dr. Greg Brady. Oh, Dr. Brady, there's a phone call for you. Thanks, Maria. This is Dr. Brady. Hello, Greg. Mom, anything wrong? Oh, no, nothing's wrong. I just have such wonderful news I had to call. You're lucky you caught me. I'm just about to make rounds. How would you like to come to a double wedding? Great, as long as it's not mine. <laughs> Marcia and Jan are both getting married at the same time. Fantastic. I know how busy you are, Greg, but it wouldn't be the same if their big brother wasn't there. I'll manage somehow, Mom. The first wedding of the Bradys. I remember Marcia's first date. I want to know all about it, who the guys are, when it's going to be. Marcia's fiancé is Wally Logan. She just met him and they decided to get married after only seven days. Well, you know Philip. He and Jan have been thinking about it for some time. Uh, Dr. Brady, they need you an x-ray right away. <laughs> well, they decided to get together and have the double wedding. Fantastico! Congratulations! Felicidades! Buena suerte! <laughs> Thank you. This is embarrassing. I mean, I enlist in the Air Force for a while so I can decide what to do with the rest of my life. A seemingly mature decision. And then over the PA, all the guys here, Airman Brady, your mommy's calling. <laughs> oh, give me a break. I'm sorry, Peter, but this is important. Important? Marsha and Jan are getting married in a double ceremony to two great guys. Nah, nah, go on. Really? So Philip finally popped the question, huh? But, but Marsha doesn't even have a boyfriend. Who's she married? His name is Wally Logan. It was a whirlwind romance. We hardly know him ourselves. <laughs> Mom, that is terrific. <laughs> <laughs> My sisters are getting married, sir. <laughs> Peter? Oh, okay, Mom, I'm back. So when's the wedding? We don't know exactly. There's so many friends and relatives to consider. Okay, when you work it out, give me a call so I can arrange for leave, all right? Roger. <laughs> Hello? Hey, cool you guys, will you? Yeah? Marsha and Jan, both of them? Right, Bobby. And naturally, we want you at the wedding. Well, when is it? Soon. We don't know exactly. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll be there. Unless I drop out of college, sign a big league contract, and make it to the World Series all in the next month. <laughs> oh, Bobby. <laughs> Goodbye. Marcia and Jan getting married on the same day? Oh, Mom, a double wedding. That's fabulous. <laughs> How does that make you feel, Cindy? Like an old maid. <laughs> well, you just stay single for a while. Well, there is this guy. Cindy... Just kidding, Ma. Just kidding. What's Wally like? Oh, well, he's just as nice a guy as Philip, but they're as different as can be. Well, what does he look like? Oh, he's cute and adorable. 
You'll be able to recognize him. He'll be the one marrying Marsha. Wally, we have to get organized. We gotta get invitations, so we need a list of all of the guests. Couldn't we just have an open wedding? You know, put up signs on telephone poles? You haven't lost a puppy. You found a wife. I sure have. And besides, I've already told my apartment manager that I'm moving out. Oh, then you mean you're, uh, really gonna go through with this, huh? You can't back out now, Buster. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Believe me, I've never seen her before in my life. <laughs> Here's your copy of the people I think we should invite. As you can see, it's all alphabetized. Uh -huh. What little carrots by the names me? Vegetarians. You think of everything. You're so practical. Please don't call me practical. Dull people are practical. I'm not dull, therefore I'm not practical. <laughs> I simply try to examine everything from all sides. What about me? Did you try to examine me from all sides? Naturally. It was the only practical thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's your copy of the uh, list of songs for the reception. Uh, as you can see, it's alphabetized, too. Uh-huh. And these letters, F and S. Fast and slow. Exactly. Is there anything you haven't thought of? Yes. I haven't thought of any way that we can afford a big, beautiful apartment after we're married. Oh, honey, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can move into your place, or you can move into my place. Well, that's 820 or 775. Dollars? No, square feet. <laughs> my apartment's 45 square feet larger, so I suggest we move into my place after the wedding. Agreed. And now, about the wedding night. If you pull out a list of alphabetized activities, I'm going to give you such a hit. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I did have a few things written down. What? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what do you think? I love the invitation I got to Barbara's wedding. Mm -hmm. It had a Picasso abstract design. That sounds terrific to me. An invitation that's contemporary and current. With old English lettering. <laughs> now, that's really a traditional invitation. Maybe with a quote from Shakespeare. Or George Bernard. Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. That would be classic music for the wedding. And maybe we can have an electric guitar. That'll be perfect with a cello, violin, and flute. I love that kind of music, too. That sound goes so well with guacamole and chips. Right. That sets the mood for Mexican food. Like beef wellington and spinach souffle. That's very traditional, too. Like my beautiful long veil. And I love the idea of lace cuffs maybe on a sleeveless dress. That should look terrific with me in my Greek shirt and sandals. Top hat and tails. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Now you can learn to speak Spanish through classic TV. Simply listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. So easy, anyone can learn. Listen to I Love Lucy and repeat. Tonight on Nick at Night. A healthy man, a clean, healthy, close-up man. Close-up gives you the cavity fighting protection of fluoride and the extra protection of real mouth rinse. The toothpaste and mouth rinse in one. For a healthy mouth, healthy mouth, a new mouth, a close-up mouth. This is a two-hour ride. So? So what about the Maria comes back? Oh, relax. You took these Imodium AD caplets. Just once. I always took the pink stuff two or three times. Well, these are much better. Imodium AD caplets are so effective, they often work in one dose. Instead of dose after dose after dose, like the pink stuff. We're leaving. Already? Imodium AD caplets can make your first attack of diarrhea your last.
And now, back to the Nick at Night movie. Averill Van Owen. Oh, yes, that's the friend of Philip and Jan's. I'll just put him at their table. Okay. David Gilbert. Who's David Gilbert? <laughs> it's got to be a friend of Wally's. <laughs> Julie Sullivan. Coming! Julie Sullivan. David Gilbert. Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> Gilbert and Sullivan. A wandering minstrel, I have seen a friend. Ash is coming. Da 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 Alice, stop crying. You're getting the skirt all wet. <laughs> but this is the room where you were a little girl. Where you used to play, leave your toys scattered all over and wrote on the wall in crayon and never picked anything up. <laughs> Whatever happened to that sweet little girl? Alice, everybody grows up. I know, but you and Jan getting mad, mad. <laughs> Hello, girl. Hi, Mom. Oh, that's going to be nice. Marsha, hmm, you even look pretty in a pattern. <laughs> oh, here's where I left these. Did you sell any houses today, Mom? Not exactly, but there is an offer in on the Hastings Avenue house. I think it's so great, Mrs. Brady, you working in real estate. Is it hard to sell a house? I don't know. I haven't sold one yet. <laughs> But you're getting closer. Well, as long as you two are working on the dress, I think I'll go over and meet with the caterers and discuss the arrangements. Great. Besides, I can get a few pointers from Alice. She's practically a new bride herself. <laughs> new bride? Are you kidding? Sam and I have been married almost four years. I still remember our wedding night. <laughs> Sam bowled a 226. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm getting married. <laughs> well, I, uh, I think I'll be going. Have a nice day, Mrs. Bye. Brady. Alice, hmm? do me a favor. Hmm? Try not to drown, Marcia. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so beautiful. Silk, right? Silk crepe de chine with a little silk hat and a short veil. Really modern. It's the newest fashion. Sounds beautiful. Well, designing is my job. I've also designed one for Jan. Hi, Marcia. Alice? Jan! <laughs> oh, oh. I thought you'd be happy to see me. <laughs> I've never been so happy in my whole life. <laughs> if she were any happier, we'd need a rowboat. <laughs> Isn't the dress beautiful? Yes, it's beautiful. Well, I'm glad you like it because I've got something for you. Look out for the pins. That's lovely. I knew you'd like it. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. You know, with a lot of lace and a long train. Well, this one is more in keeping with the modern flavor. Who says the wedding has a modern flavor? Dan, Marcia, this is none of my business, but haven't you already talked all this out? Oh, well, Philip and I just assumed we'd have a traditional, dignified kind of wedding. Wally and I see it a whole different way. We'd like something with flair and style. <laughs> I refuse to look ridiculous at my own wedding. <laughs> Great. Now you're seeing it my way. Yeah, Marsha! Jan. Well, that's what you say, but it is my wedding. Hey, girls, please! Your wedding? It's my wedding, too, oh, you know. know. Listen, Marsha, Philip and I have been talking oh, about this. Oh, Philip and you <laughs> Okay, Alice. Who's right? Yeah, who? Your parents. <laughs> They'll have the perfect solution. <sighs> I hope. Here they are. Oh, I'm so glad you and Philip are getting a chance to meet. And right on time. Come on in. Get the introductions over with. We can sit down to Carol Chateaubriand. <laughs> Wally Logan, Philip Covington. Nice to meet you. May I call you Wallace? 
Wally's fine. Okay, Philly? <laughs> well, Philip is preferred, but uh, Phil is possible, but uh, Philly, uh, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, we've asked you here for a couple of reasons. First of all, you haven't met. And second, we understand you seem to be having a, a difference of opinion about the wedding. Dad, we know you're trying to help, but we're not kids anymore. We have to work things out for ourselves. However, your father's right. It's best to present all the facts. It was, <laughs> it's kind of like the announcement of the trumpeter swan to rival males. Yes. <laughs> I uh, never thought of it quite that way. Is uh, serious? Always. <laughs> well, <laughs> here we are. Mike, I'm glad that you got us together. Maybe you can help us make them understand what we mean. Uh, we understand what you mean. We feel that our way makes sense. Yeah, in a way, it does make a certain amount of sense. Good. If you want a wedding that is reviewed in Rolling Stone. <laughs> what Philip means is... You don't have to interpret what Philip means. This particular swan has blown his own trumpet. Hold it. Let's not start an argument here. <laughs> We're all adults, remember? Right. Now let's all sit down and talk it out. <laughs> Come on. Remember, now what's important is the wedding. Now we want you two couples to like each other and, and get along. As for me, I can get along with everybody. Good, then let's discuss how the wedding should be. All right. Now you're being practical, Phil. <laughs> Two things. Uh, first, Philip. My name is Philip. And secondly, I wasn't suggesting a discussion because it's practical. It's rational. There's a big difference between rational and practical. <laughs> well, how do you two want the wedding? Traditional, memorable. A wedding is a serious step. It's not something to be considered lightly. Are you saying that we haven't thought about it enough? <laughs> well, Philip and I have been thinking about it for three months. You two haven't even known each other for three months. Well, that's not quite fair. What difference does it make how long we've known each other? Marcia, Wally, how do you two see the wedding? <laughs> we think it should be memorable, too, but we want it upbeat and bright and fun. I vote for fun. See, <laughs> Philly's practical. Phil's practical. Philip's practical. Philip's rational. He's rational. Precise. And precise. But our kind of fun may be different from your kind of fun. I can believe that. Let's <laughs> all sit back down. I'll just get started anyway. Well, they want chamber music, violins and cellos. <gasps> we never said chamber music. They want rock and roll. We never said rock and roll. They said top hats and tails. We did not. But we don't want open shirts and sandals. That's right, and we want traditional vows. Well, we want to write our own. Hold it, hold it. Can't we compromise? Maybe this is too much of a change, but what about separate weddings? You can do anything you want. Now that's rational. No, that's practical. Just call me sometime and let me know how it all worked out. Wally, wait! Wally? Mr. and Mrs. Brady, I'm sorry. Good night, Jan. It was nice meeting you, Philly. <laughs> Mike. Well, maybe a double wedding isn't such a good idea after all. No, I hate to say this, but maybe Wally was right. You mean you don't want to be part of a double wedding? I don't even know if I want to be part of a single wedding. <laughs> Philip, wait. Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Brady. What do you think? Well, I usually cry at weddings, but I think I better start right now, because I... Might not get the chance. <laughs> Milkbone dog biscuits, dog treats, and flavor snacks. Happy Valentine's Day. Lunchables lunch combinations. Fresh meats and cheeses with crisp crackers. So attack a stack of Monterey Jack, pylon bologna, salami, or Colby. Add chicken and wheat and your lunch is complete. Lunch, 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 it's lunch apples. From Oscar Mayer. I've had much more fun since I've been a blonde. I feel a dress is a great product. One of the things that I love best about it is it has a gel. It doesn't drip all over your face. Why be cheap with your hair? I mean, if you're going to save money, do it somewhere else. How about some Nick at Night to make you feel better? Nick at Night, all night, every night. Good TV for your appetite. And now, back to the Nick at Night movie. More coffee?
Bobby. Alice, please sit down. You don't work here anymore. I know, but once I set foot in this kitchen, habit takes over. <laughs> Besides, worrying about the coffee gives me something to worry about, so I don't have to worry about what I'm really worried about. <laughs> Wally's impulsive. He couldn't mean what he said last night. Oh, that's good to hear. On the other hand, Philip isn't impulsive. He could mean what he said. That's not so good to hear. <laughs> They're going to come to their senses, aren't they? Sure. You really believe that? No. <laughs> well, I was positive Marsha or Jam would call me this morning and say, April Fool, Mom. Would anybody like a cup of coffee? <laughs> I was sure I'd get a call. Oh, I must be out of practice. <laughs> I'll bet it's Marsha. She never could carry a grudge. Maybe it's Jam. She was always the first to admit she was wrong. You're right. It's probably Jam. She never could stay angry. <laughs> Maybe you were right the first time. Marsha is more flexible. Remember the time she got some mad? Alice, if we don't answer that phone, we'll never know if it's Jan or Marsha. <laughs> Hello, Jan. Marsha. Peter. 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 Peter? <laughs> what? Honey, we didn't expect your call. Oh, how are you? Uh, I'm okay, Mom, but something awful's come up. Did Greg tell you? Greg? No, no, I found out from my captain. Your captain? How would your captain know? Well, I guess the colonel told him, and the general told him. That's how it works. Peter, I think we might be talking about two different things. Well, I'm talking about flight exercises. The orders just came through. The whole squadron's got to take off in nine days. I guess I'm going to have to miss the wedding. You too? You mean there might be somebody else who can't make it? That is a possibility. Well, I'm sorry, Mom, but the Air Force has got dibs on me. They got this idea that national security is more important than my sister's wedding. Well, I'll tell Jan and Marsha. I'm sure they're going to be disappointed. Okay, Mom, tell them I'm sorry. Bye. Are you sure they said meet them here? This is Philip's favorite place. He says the ambience is stimulating. He would. Wally. Wally. Come on. You've got to try to get along. That's the purpose of this meeting. Don't be so stubborn. Honey, I get along with everybody. It's that Philip. He's the one who's stubborn. Or else he'd agree with me. Please, Wally. Okay. Or as we say in the toy business, Let's wind her up and see if it chugga-chugs. <laughs> Where are they? That's what makes us different. We're always early. Philip and Jan are always... Right on time. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi, How's it Philip. going? How are you? How are you doing? Just fine. Good. Uh, should we uh, order before we talk? Uh, why beat around the bush? Like Philip says, trumpeter swans lay it all on the table. It's not precise. Acceptable. We could order some wine first. Chug a chug. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, pal. You got a wine list? Uh, this is our favorite restaurant. No wonder. The ambience is stimulating. <laughs> Very well put. <laughs> About you last night. Uh, go ahead. Last night. We got outside, and Philip and I started to talk. Whether it's your way or our way isn't as important as getting married. Well, that's what we were saying. I mean, why should we let a small difference of opinion stop what we all want? Then we're agreed. 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 There's a problem. What? We haven't agreed on anything. Why bring up details? Well, we agreed to agree, didn't we? Yeah, at least that's a good starting point. <laughs> Oh, terrific. <laughs> yes. Have you decided? Yes, we'll, we'll have, have the cold duck. Say 1969. <laughs> we'll say cold. Which will it be? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have cold duck. Does duck go with chicken? Like birds of a feather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're 
all friends again. Yes. Friends, friends, friends. And now that we're friends, let's all be relatives. Relatives, relatives, relatives. In vino veritas. Are you drunk or was that Latin? <laughs> Maybe a little of both. And Venus es veritas. In wine, there's truth. Hey, that's it. We'll let the wine decide. I mean the wine bottle. Did you ever play spin the bottle? Sure. Sometimes. Never. <laughs> Give me the bottle. I'll spin the bottle, and whoever it lands on gets to decide the style of the wedding. Great idea. It sounds fair to me. May I see the bottle, please? You don't trust me? Trust the man who gives the world snoozy Susie? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here we go. Who's it gonna be? Here we go. Okay, come on. Yeah! stopped halfway between us. What do we do now? Good year for wine, bad year for spinning. <laughs> According to the bottle, the wedding should be half and half. Half and half. Hey! <laughs> Mom, it's Marcia. Hi! Jan, Philip, and Wally are with me. If you're still interested in throwing a wedding, we're still interested in having one or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! Hi, Mom, it's Jan. Hi, honey. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, what's it going to be, traditional or modern? Uh, traditional modern. <laughs> or modern traditional. <laughs> well, what does that mean? We're not sure yet, but we're sure going to find out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Terrific. we got to get back to work. All systems are go again. Right. <laughs> Peter, Peter can't be here. Unless. Mrs. Brady, are you planning to call the Pentagon? Oh, don't be silly, Alice. You know, you can't budge the Air Force. What are you planning to budge, then? Not the weddings. <laughs> Alice, we can't have these weddings without all the children. Well, can we? No, we can't. All right. We have to call all the guests and everyone involved and switch all the plans for everything. But first, we're going to do something that's even more important. What are we doing, Mrs. Brady? We are going to put Gilbert and Sullivan back together again. A wand ring, then? I got a ring of bread. All set? And you know what you have to do. The floors, the chairs, the organist. The photographer, the reverend, the cake. All right. Head them up and move them out. <laughs> this weekend, in order to make it for next weekend, I had to trade duty for 24 straight hours. To get to the wedding this week, you know, I guess I'll have to trade another shift. But don't worry. I'll be there somehow. Are you serious? Mom, that's the day of the college playoffs. Our game's at 11 o'clock, so how can I get there? I may have to steal home. And I mean steal home. Well, that's the day the drama department's putting on My Fair Lady. Oh, no. Well, honey, is there anything you can do? Well, it's a matinee, Mum. But I'll do me best, even if I have to hide from Henry Higgins. <laughs> By George, I think we've got it. <laughs> <laughs> With its high output fuel injected multi-valve engine that takes it from zero to 60 in only 7.5 seconds and still delivers an EPA estimated 33 miles per gallon on the highway, the Pontiac Grand Am not only delivers some pretty good numbers, but also some pretty good times. Grand Am from Pontiac. It's the ride of your life on the Share an all-new adventure with the Treyu, the Rockfighter, Meet Junior, the Childlike Empress, Alcor, and many more friends in the never-ending story to the next chapter, rated PG. Plus, Bugs Bunny in the all-new cartoon, Box Office Bunny, rated G. Both now playing at a theater near you.
Stress headache pains like a rope around my skull. So I take Anison. It's got the strength to tackle the pain fast. Anison or aspirin-free Anison 3. Strong pain relief for today's stress headaches. Yeah, I think I'll check the groom. What do you want me to do? You worry about Greg, Peter, and Bobby. <laughs> I've told both of you that you look beautiful, radiant, gorgeous, fantastic. If you keep asking, I'll start telling you the truth. Mom, if you and Alice don't stop crying, we're all going to need snorkels. <laughs> Thank goodness your understudy took over for you. Come on, girls, we've got to hurry. We haven't got much time. Cindy, I didn't know that you gave up the play and you had the lead. No big deal. If that understudy goes on and becomes a star, I'll never speak to either of you again. <laughs> That takes care of that. You shaved off your mustache. I, I did? <laughs> Isn't that a little spontaneous? My life. My lip. I decided if I'm going to start a new life, why not start it with a new lip? <laughs> That's how I am. When I decide to do something, I do it. Excuse me. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> now for that added little touch of color. Perfect. Thank you. You need some help with your tie? No, I can manage. I'm used to formal attire. It figures. <laughs> Philly. Philip. Philip. Like it or not, in a couple of hours, we are going to be brother-in-laws. Uh, in the first place, it's not brother-in-laws, it's brothers-in-law. And in the second place, we're not going to be brother-in-laws. No, Marsh is going to be my sister-in-law, and if you're married to her, that does not make you my brother-in-law. You're unofficial. <laughs> Is that anything like illegitimate? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Well, you did shave it off. Well, Marcia told me she said it had to go. Oh, you decided to shave it off. All Marcia said was, Wally, about your mustache. Either it goes or I go. But I decided. <laughs> hey, you guys look pretty good. But you should see my daughters. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Dad. According to tradition, the groom isn't supposed to see the bride until the actual wedding. Mike, what if I marry the wrong one? <laughs> I've seen them both. You couldn't. <laughs> well, I just stopped by to see how you guys are doing. You, uh, you nervous? Me? Nervous? <laughs> yep. 
Well, my pulse is a bit rapid, too. <laughs> well, can I help? Anything you want to talk about? You mean, uh, man-to-man? Birds-and-the-bees type talk? I didn't think there was anything you needed to know. <laughs> I teach science, so... Uh... Yeah, I... I uh... Yeah, so I get, I get the point. Is your whole family here yet, Dad? <laughs> There's Peter now. One down, two to go. You know, I kind of like the mustache. <laughs> Guy's crooked. <laughs> Peter, it's so good to have you here. Oh, well, it's not just the weddings, Mom. I wouldn't miss that civilian food for anything. <laughs> Pete. Hey, Dad. <laughs> I don't know whether to shake hands or salute. Come on, I got a better idea. <laughs> How are you, Peter? Oh, I'm fine. Where is everybody? The girls are getting ready. Well, where's Greg and Bobby? I'm sure they'll get here. They said they do everything possible. Oh, if they missed the wedding because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. All we can do is pray. Well, at least there's a reverend here. Come on, Peter. out, son. <laughs> He's just kidding, Wally. <laughs> you bet. Mother, Dad, I want you to know I appreciate how great you've been. <laughs> it's nothing to cry about. I've worked very hard to bring you to this day. I can cry if I want. Well, folks, good luck to all of us. Thanks, Mike. Don't worry. Your other children will get here. Well, if I look worried, it's only because I'm worried. <laughs> Claudia, Philip. Philip, did they show up yet, Dad? Not yet, not yet. I hope it's soon. Claudia has a good cry schedule. Oh, well, I'm positive they'll be here. Maybe. <sighs> yeah, thanks a lot. Goodness, you're here. Sorry, Mom. The game went into extra innings. Oh, nice touch with the shoes, Bob. My cleats! I forgot to take off my cleats. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's important is that you're here. What's important is that we won. <laughs> At least get him out of the aisle. You might spike one of the brides. Okay. <laughs> Did you bring a good present? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get together. Right. Hey. Sit down there. <laughs> white. <laughs> I was in a real hurry. Okay, glad to see you. Glad you could make I'm it. I'm sorry I'm late, Dad. I, I got stuck in the delivery room. It was twins. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so you better get him in there. Yeah. Come on, Greg. <laughs> see you later. Greg! I left my bouquet upstairs. Your bouquet? Here you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
heck of a struggle, but now everything is absolutely perfect. The Nick at Night movie will return in a moment. We're having a baby, my baby and me. Yes, it's a blessed event, and it's part of our television heritage. In 1953, Lucille Ball became the first actress ever to be shown pregnant on the air. Because doctors had advised her to have a planned cesarean, Lucy was able to schedule the TV land birth of Little Ricky, which had been filmed months earlier. Ricky, this is it. So that it aired on the same night as the birth of her real-life son, Desi Jr. America felt that Lucy and Ricky were part of the family. That's why 44 million aunts and uncles tuned in for the birth of little Ricky, setting a new record for the largest TV audience ever. The birth of little Ricky, a part of the birth of classic TV that you can watch today on Nick at Night. Thinking of getting high? better know what you're jumping into. Sweeter than a red rose is this special arrangement for your sweetheart on Valentine's Day. Or this traditional tulip plant that's as bright as your love. Conroy's florist has hundreds of unique arrangements, like this lovely heart and rose bud face. There's nothing better to show your lasting love than fresh flowers from Conroy's. For a night like tonight, I like to go all out. You know, wear a lipstick color that's a little more dramatic. But every time I tried one, I felt like, here come Julie's lips. Clarion lip color. That's why I turned to Clarion. Their computer helped me pick all these wonderful, rich colors. That look wonderful on me. Clarion helps you choose only the colors that are right for you. So you'll be looking great and knowing it. Look out. Here comes Julie. this ceremony one of the most unusual and one of the happiest at which I've ever officiated. Or should I say, two of the happiest. <laughs> Phil? Philip. Philip and Jan. Wallace? Wally. Wally and Marsha. You two couples are entering married life in a most joyous fashion, but what better beginning than a double wedding for two beautiful sisters, Marcia and Jan, surrounded by family and friends. I've known both of you girls throughout your lives, and I am privileged indeed.
to offer my blessings upon this special occasion. Now come together, please. Jan Brady, in accordance with tradition and the law of this state, do you take this man, Philip Covington III, as your lawful wedded husband to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. And do you, Philip Covington, take this woman, Jan Brady, as your lawful wedded wife to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. Rings, please. You may now kiss the bride. Uh, next. Marsha Brady, I love you with all my heart. And from this day forward, everything I do will be with you, for you, and because of you. Wally Logan, I am proud to be your wife. I will try to make each day a part of our life to love, to remember, and to share. May I now kiss the bride? <laughs> that would be a good idea. <laughs> Marsha. Wally. Marsha. Wally. Marsha. Philip and Jan. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife, and husband and wife. <laughs> because you come to me, with naught save love and hold my hand and lift mine eyes above a wider world of hope and joy I see because you come to me Oh, 
Beautiful. Why? Does that cake bring back memories? <laughs> yes, it sure does. started with a disaster, but we sure haven't ended up that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, next Thursday, the whole squadron goes on flight exercises. Hey, a camping trip. Bobby, this is the Air Force. Sleeping in tents, hiking, sounds like fun. <laughs> Has he always been such a bozo? <laughs> Never since I can remember. Come on, you guys, no more of that little brother stuff. What I do is important. I just made the game-winning catch today with the bases loaded. Very important. It was. It put our team in the playoffs. I was up against the fence. I had to jump like this. Whoa! Oh, I'll get it! Oh. I can get it! I got it! <laughs> no, leave him there. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wally. I'm really sorry. I, I... Don't worry about it, buddy. Put her there. Uh... <laughs> Cake's ready, everybody. Oh, this carry is so very, very... Different. I never used a carry like this. This carry is so very, very... Silky. My skin feels incredibly smooth. This carry is called Silky Smooth, and Silky Smooth is a beautiful kind of carry. Silky Smooth absorbs so fast, and my skin doesn't feel greasy. This carry is so very, very... Special. And that's how it makes me feel every day. Carry Silky Smooth is so very, very... Also original carry. Here I am, a pillar of the community. And I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Brave adults challenge the notion that Frosted Flakes is just a kid's cereal. In business meetings, I look around and wonder, am I the only one? Those sweet, crunchy flakes and a splash of cold milk. What could an adult like better for breakfast? I'm crazy about the taste. Hey, I got nothing to hide. <laughs> it's easy to see. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. Of all these cold medicines, only one combines the pain reliever in Advil with the medicine in Sudafed, Co-Advil. Last year, 7 million people discovered it. It was a sinus as well as, as, as a head cold. Blood weights in my face all through here. It felt like a clogged drain. Co-Advil just cleared everything up. It was like the lead weights had just gone away. I was not drowsy with Co-Advil at all. Try Co-Advil, and the next cold won't seem so bad. Co-Advil, advanced formula for cold and sinus relief. There's great TV pleasure at your command. Hello out there from TV land. Nick at night brings it home to you. And now, back to the Nick at Night movie. This is a beautiful house. Well, don't go getting any ideas, because it's way beyond your means right now. Only temporarily the next 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a look around? I have to lock up and check the backyard and the garage. Well, take your time. We're waiting for Jan anyway. You no, know, you know I love Jan. But why is it so important for your sister to help us find an apartment? Well, you don't understand sisters. It's something I do for her and she does for me. It's called meddling. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wow. What a pretty house. Oh, it's great. It's terrific. Please, I'm an architect. Let me give you the technical term. Mm, fabulous. <laughs> Mom and Wally should be back soon. Do you want to look around? Sure. Do you think we should? No, but let's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen's this way, I think. Ah, it's got every modern convenience. Dishwasher, garbage disposal, built-in oven. 
Julia Child could go wild. It even has a wine rack. Betty Crocker could get crocked. Want to check out the bedrooms? Yeah. This way. This is just the kind of house Gosh. Philip and I would like to own someday. <laughs> yeah, Wally and I were saying the same thing. And instead of paying rent for an apartment, you'd have something. Yeah, well, Mom and I were talking about it, and with Wally's job at Tyler Toys and mine at Casual Clothes, but if you put that together with Philip's position at the college and my salary, even though it's just my first year as an architect... Tim, that is an incredible idea. I mean, it's the only way two young couples could afford a house. It would be perfect. Your bedroom would be, perfect. be that I mean, I've always and thought it could be on the other side, and I've never heard of the I'm so ready. <laughs> what do you think? The same thing you're thinking, only I'm thinking it more. I mean, this is the only way that we can afford it. It would be perfect. perfect. It's Ready to go? No. We're ready to stay. It would be this perfect. would be so much better than the living room. I mean, we can both have our own house. All the Hold it. Hold it. Can you take it down to 33 and a third? And then try it one at a time? <laughs> well, Mother, remember how you were saying that Wally and I couldn't afford a place like this yet? Mm -hmm. Philip and I couldn't either. But if we shared the house, we'd have four salaries coming in. That is, if it's legal. Oh, it's legal. Willowbrook sold several that way. Well, how about making some close relatives your next customers? Oh, that sounds oh, great! great. Oh, I love it! Hold it! Hold it! Don't I have anything to say about all this? Well, depends on what you're going to say. I love it. <laughs> I got to go. Why do I have to be blindfolded? We want you to get the whole effect all at once. Step. Down two steps. Okay. But that's crazy. I, I, it's childish. This whole idea is rash, irresponsible, and foolhardy. I think you No, 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 honey, please, not yet. You're right, Jen. He's stubborn. No, Marsha, a lot of people say I'm stubborn, but they're all wrong. I'm not stubborn. <laughs> Permanently determined, maybe, but not stubborn. Voila! It's a house. <laughs> Very nice house. It's a house that the four of us can buy together. Think of the advantages. It's a great idea. I hate the idea. Give it a chance. Can't we at least start to talk about it, Phil? Philip, Philip. Thanks. <laughs> Philip, I'm telling you, buying this house is a wonderful idea. Living with one person is difficult. Two couples living together, that's impossible. It's wonderful. It's impossible. Wonderful. Impossible. Wonderful. Impossible. Wonderful. Philip, let's negotiate. If Wally comes down from wonderful to not bad, will you come up from impossible to eh? <laughs> In all fairness, Philip, you can at least look at the rest of the house. Okay. I'm looking at the rest of the house. Built-in bookcases. And lots of closet space. Rack and pinion steering. <laughs> nice kitchen. Good-sized bedroom. Wonderful bookcases. Isn't it great? Yeah. Excellent floor plan. Then give us one good reason why we can't all buy this house together. In alphabetical order? <laughs> okay. A for aquarium. What happens when I bring in my tropical fish aquarium? I take care of the fish. I raise them. I baby them. I clean the tank and you'll be looking at them without doing anything for them. <laughs> we won't look at them. We promise. We don't even like tropical fish. I don't know if I could live with anyone that doesn't like tropical fish. Uh, he was just saying that. We like tropical fish. We love tropical fish, but we promise we won't look at them. What about parrots? Do you like parrots? Uh, we love parrots. We're crazy about parrots. Yeah. I hate parrots. <laughs> But, but look, we don't even have a parrot. You might get one. You know, people that are crazy about parrots might get one, and then what would I do? <laughs> Honey, don't you think we can work it out? It's simply not rational. For once in your life, throw ration to the wind. For once in your life, don't be practical. I've told you before, I am rational, not practical. I mean, where can I work on my scientific experiments? I need peace and quiet. Where is the privacy? That's just being practical. As practical as you can be. Practical, practical, practical. Stop it. I can be just as impractical as anyone. Then buy the house. Oh, if you had the papers right here in front of me, I'd show you how impractical I can be. Mom! <laughs> Go with my son. Sign here. Uh, and here. Uh, 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 and here. Have I been had? Not until you sign here. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been had. <laughs> What do you 
some water, Marcia. Over by the coffee table. You don't see no coffee table. You see a coffee table, Frank? I don't see a coffee table unless it's made of glass. I'll tell you what. This is a good place for a coffee table. Roger. <laughs> Nice place, Marsha. Thanks, Maxie. I really appreciate you moving my things and Wally's things for the same price. Hey, listen, it's the least we could do for somebody who works in the next building. Right, Frank? No, the least we can do is move the rest of the stuff in here. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Right in here, fellas. Oh. Oh. oh, no! Look at all this other stuff! We tried to tell you, lady, we've already moved in three loads today. Where am I gonna put it all? You don't put. You point. We put. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh, my gosh! You go that way, and I'll go that way. We're bound to find it. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. I it keeps ringing. <laughs> oh. 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 Victory! Great! Almost. Oh, no. Logan. It's your mother-in-law. <laughs> Marcia can't get to the phone right now. Oh, yes. It got here all right. Oh, yes. Well, we appreciate the furniture. We really do. It, um, fits right in. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> well, that explains some of the furniture explosion. Hi, right, honey. I'm... Home? Hi, Wally. Hi, keep talking. I'll try to zero in on your voice. Marsha Logan to Wally Logan. Marsha Logan to Wally Logan. Keep talking. Come on down. I gotcha. Hi, Wally. Hi, Jan. <laughs> oh. Hi, sweetie. Hi. I am so sorry I didn't straighten up. I just didn't have time. <laughs> Should I ask what's new? With your stuff, and my stuff, and Marsha's stuff, and Philip's stuff, and stuff from our folks, and stuff from your folks, and stuff from Philip's folks. No wonder this place got so stuffed. Hi, honey. <laughs> Jan, are you in there? We're toward the dining room. Uh, maybe I better go on back and come in through the kitchen. No, there are three refrigerators blocking the door. Uh, just follow the path Wally made. I should have dropped breadcrumbs. <laughs> Can't we get rid of some yeah. of this clutter? Yeah, the, which is the clutter? Anything that isn't mine. <laughs> uh, careful, honey. Oh. I made it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we have got to get rid of some of this. Not right away. I'm dead set against getting rid of anything right away. Why? Well, you never know when you're going to need something. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, yes, we're all home. Who are you? The Spritz singer, your neighbor. The door's open. Can I come in? If you can. Where are you? With three couches, seven chairs, and nine tables away. <laughs> You really shouldn't leave the door open. Somebody might take something. Who'd notice? Uh, hello. Uh, Hi. Oh, uh, oh, watch oh, yourself. Wow. Hello. Everybody. Uh, hi. hi, Miss Fritzinger. I live right across the street. Huh. Where's the Logans? I'm Marsha. And Wally. I'm Jan Brady Covington. Philip Covington the third. 
We just moved in. That's why things were a little untidy, Mrs. Fritzinger. That's Miss Fritzinger. And that's by choice. Since men have only one thing on their minds. <laughs> Charles and I, uh, Charles is my brother, we own our own home together. Now, whose home is this? Uh, you and you, or you and you? All of us. Isn't it terrific? Seems a bit odd to me. <laughs> we have a very respectable neighborhood here. You young people obviously go on furniture buying binges. That may very well indicate a life of excesses. First it's too much furniture, and then it's too much, uh, mm. <laughs> I'd rather not say. Uh, thank you for the warning. I leave now. I just wanted to welcome you all to the neighborhood. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, if there's anything you want to know about your neighbors, I can tell you. Or if I can't, I can find out. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> As we were saying before, Mrs. Fritzinger. Yes, Fritzinger. <laughs> yeah. We have to decide which furniture to get rid of. The modern stuff. <laughs> I thought you left. Ah, oh, took a wrong turn. Could have been um, a right by the ottoman and a left by the nightstand. There's the door. <laughs> it's simple. It's what furniture fits this particular house. I think this house has an early American feeling. You have to admit, our things are classic. Oh, but so are the Roman ruins, but I wouldn't want them in our living room. Oh, yeah, well, they're yeah. a lot more comfortable than, than those modern chairs of yours. For your information, Jan, those are coffee tables. Coffee tables? And those are looking like coffee Wait a minute, it's impossible. I warned you, I warned you, I warned you. Thank you, Paul Revere. Let's face it, this isn't an argument about end tables. If we can't agree about furniture, we'll never be able to agree about other things, important things. We've agreed on a lot of things. It's no use. It'll be like this about everything. Money, politics, who takes out the garbage, what to watch on television. No, that's easy. We'll spend an enjoyable evening watching the wonderful world of geraniums. <laughs> well, that'll be better than the Super Bowl of mud wrestling. What's wrong with a Super Bowl of mud wrestling? Hey, wait a minute, you guys. Now, come on, yeah, please. Don't, don't please. What if there's a fire? He'll run back to save his beer can collection. I would not. <laughs> I'd run back in to watch your fish boil. <laughs> Come on, Jan. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are we going? Home. Home? You are home. We're all home. <laughs> Imagine owning the world's greatest love songs by the greatest voices of our time. In a once-in-a-lifetime collection. Time Life Music presents the Ultimate Love Songs Collection. 36 beautiful songs I promise to love by all our favorite artists. Have I told you lately that I love you? Rod Stewart, Have I told Celine Dion, Phil no Collins, Gloria Estefan. Get the Ultimate Love Songs Collection on two CDs for just $26.99. But wait, use your credit card and we'll take $10 off. That's right, you get two CDs for just $16.99. Then review other romantic collections. Satisfaction guaranteed. Ultimate Love Songs is not sold in stores. So remember, use your credit card and get two beautiful CDs for just $16.99. Call 1-800-818-6806 to order the Ultimate Love Songs collection on two CDs for $16.99 plus shipping and handling when you use your credit card. Call now or order online at timelife.com. 
Pizza Hut introduces the $5.99 pepperoni pizza deal. $5.99. Get a delicious pepperoni pan pizza at an unbelievable price. $5.99. But you'd better hurry. This great deal won't be around for long. Pizza Hut, make it a great... Whew. Hot. No, no, no. Keep going. That's not it. Look. Cranberry cool, cranberry crisp, ocean spray, most refreshing is. <laughs> What's got me leaving? <laughs> ocean spray cranberry drinks, their music to your mouth. Nobody's up. But you're naked. I always sleep with my clothes off. Well, I know that better than anybody, but... So what's the problem? <gasps> well, what if Jan wakes up and comes in here? First of all, this is our house just as much as it is theirs, and we should be able to walk around any way we like. And secondly, I'm not stopping Jan from walking around in the nude. Marsha? It's Jan. It's Jan. <laughs> Jan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marsha? What are you drawing up? I was just getting a glass of milk. Two in the morning? Well, I just had this sudden craving for milk, you know? Just this sudden craving. Marsha, you're not... <laughs> no, of course not. We just got married, silly. I know, but... No, I'm not. Yeah, tell her the truth. Wally. Wally? <laughs> yes, that's Wally. But, uh, don't go in there. <laughs> What's going on? Well, he's in the kitchen, naked. Why? Well, he always sleeps naked. In the kitchen? Uh, well, <laughs> you see, uh... All I wanted was a glass of milk. I didn't think anybody'd be up. Are you shocked? Nah, lots of people drink milk. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the way he's dressed. I mean, not dressed. Undressed. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. A lot of people sleep in the nude. Not Philip, of course. <laughs> you ladies stop with the chit-chat? This linoleum is getting cold. I better make sure Philip is asleep. No telling how I'd react to a thing like this. <laughs> Marsha. Hi. It's 2.06 in the morning. I was just, um, uh, getting a glass of milk. <laughs> I was helping her. <laughs> you were helping her get a glass of milk. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the truth is, but the truth is... The truth is... <laughs> the truth is... I was in the kitchen getting the milk. <laughs> you came in here to get some milk like that? Well, this is not mine. I was in the box. I don't know which I prefer. <laughs> well, let's suppose that I would like to wear this. This is our house, just the same as it is yours, and I have every right to wear whatever I would like to wear, whenever I would like to wear it. We all have our fantasies. <laughs> Why don't we all go back to bed? Good idea. That is not going to solve the problems of this house. We have differing lifestyles. You like to play Mozart softly. I like to play music with a beat, nice and loud. <laughs> Music, it's lifestyles. Like your decision to turn this house into a nudist colony. <laughs> Philip, that is unfair. We all have a right to feel comfortable. But what if seeing Wally in the nude makes us feel uncomfortable? Right. I didn't know we were living with playgirls, Mr. July. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't answer that. My house. I'll get it if I want to. <laughs> Coming. Do come in. 
<laughs> Miss Fritzinger, we were just having a little discussion. Oh, would you care to join us? I heard some very loud music, and at this hour, so I knew that I had to... <laughs> You're wearing an apron. Yes. Yes, do you like it? Well, yes. Thank you. We were discussing personal freedom. That takes care of her. Now, as we were saying. <laughs> Good night, Miss Fritzinger. <laughs> This is not working. It's just not working. We've got to end this. End what? It's not that simple. Marcia and I are sisters. We bought this place together. We've got to make it work. Can't we compromise? Compromise? What kind of compromise? Go naked Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care what you do on your side of the house. You do what you want over here, and let us do what we want over there. You mean some kind of a separation? No, I mean a divorce. <laughs> all this tape would be gone. It's so childish. It's not childish. It's the reason why countries have borders. It ensures friendly relations. <laughs> Too bad my passport expired. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what is all this stuff anyway? The scientific experiment I'm working on. Here? In the living room? On our half. Smell eggs. Rotten eggs. What you smell is sulfur. Morning. Morning. Ah, you made eggs. No, Philip made sulfur. Right here in the living room. Well, at least it's on our side. I am a scientist. I have to experiment. Would you have asked Enrico Fermi to move his atom bomb? Out of the living room? Yes. Don't tell me, Dr. Frankenstein dropped in. Oh, oh, what have you made us for breakfast, Master Phil? Philip. Oh, Philip. Philip made scrambled sulfur. Can't you smell it? We agreed to split the house in half. You better just keep your nose pollution on your side. That's Philip's work. He has the right to work at home if he wants to. I'll get it. Just stay on your side. No small score. Coming. It is Miss Fritzinger and an officer. And they're on your side. I hardly recognize you without your apron. Thank you. Folks, Miss Fritzinger has lodged another of her complaints. Now, at the station, we consider her to be a very concerned citizen. Thank you, Officer Dumont. You, I smell something. Look at that. They are making drugs. Probably STP. And I bet they're selling it at kindergartens during recess. And last night, this one. This one was wearing an apron. An apron. Hook him on a morals charge. That's a 613. Oh, and throw in a, a 752. That's a drug bust for good measure. Drug bust. Officer Dumont, this is going to get you a promotion. I'm grateful, Miss Fritzinger. What is this stuff, anyway? We're in a residential zone. This stuff, as you called it, is hydrogen sulfide, a common gas which is sometimes released by the oxidation of bituminous carbon. Wait a minute. Do you realize what Philip is doing? This experiment might very well make a better world for us all. Miss Fritzinger, anyone who would complain about Philip Covington III would have probably thrown Dr. Jonas Salk out on his vaccine. <laughs> thank you, Wally. Don't thank me. Thank you. 
thank him. Thank you, doctor. Huh. Keep up the good work. <laughs> and Miss Fritzinger, for your information, a 752 is no parking near a fire hydrant. <laughs> do that too oh, well do not think that you can fool Al Verna Fritzinger you, you you probably wore clothes because you knew I'd be around <laughs> Miss Fritzinger this is our home and we can dress any way we choose anytime we choose right there are standards exactly and in this house we set the standards Wally can dress any way he likes I can dress any way I like <laughs> oh, well, I never... Well, maybe that's your problem, Miss Retzinger. That a boy, Philip! Do you realize your pants are still down? <laughs> <laughs> and do you realize there is still tape dividing this household? Do you realize there doesn't have to be? Let's get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. You go that way, I'll go this way. Okay. okay. <laughs> Red Lobster introduces our Shrimp Sensations Dinner, just $7.99, with tangy shrimp veracruz and new Parmesan fried shrimp, together with popcorn shrimp specially priced just $7.99 for a limited time, now at Red Lobster. Charles Mann for Swanson Hungry Man. In my line of work, I really build up an appetite, and I tackle it with Swanson Hungry Man dinners and pot pies. Hungry Man satisfies my appetite with 50% more meat. Extra portions that taste extra good. Take it from this man. Hungry Man will satisfy your appetite too. Look for Swanson Hungry Man dinners and pot pies in your neighborhood grocer's freezer. You're going to be knocked over by Tartar Control Aquafresh. It reduces ugly tartar and more. It helps remove plaque and fights cavities with fluoride with taste that knocks over the leading brand. For a great deal more, get Tartar Control Aquafresh. I want what I really, really want. 